You're listening to the Pine Room Podcast, the home of sports, gambling, entertainment, and whatever the hell else has gone on this week. So pull up a seat by the fire, crack open a cold one, and make sure to get your bets in. Welcome to the Pine Room. All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to the Pine Room, episode fifteen. Uh, it's been a, a week since I've been here, since we, uh, us three, have been in the studio. Oh, well, I guess everybody. And over a gone. week, yeah, right? over a yeah, week, geez, yeah. For what? you, it's been what? Last Friday, it's been a couple weeks. Couple weeks, yeah. and then uh, yeah, we were here last Friday, and it's been a long week without this thing. So we. Uh, we were in Antigua for a week. That was fun, and I'm sure we'll get into some details of that. But, yeah, uh, so apologies for the lack of stuff. I mean, not that the whole lot of stuff didn't come out anyway. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, everything will be up to date now. Uh, we're back in the saddle. We're going to get rolling here uh, with, with the stuff. Uh, the last podcast was great. Thank you to Todd again for calling in on the little imp- impromptu call. It was fun. Um, uh, I think that we, we have planned here in the future uh, is for – because uh, we had a pretty uh, chaotic trip, uh, and we got a lot of stuff to get into there, but we're not going to take up a lot of time here uh, talking about it. So we might do a little side thing with uh, all the guys that went on it. But, uh, yeah, as far as that, uh, there's not too much to catch up on. Uh, anything, you guys, anything out happened through no, the week? As an outside listener to the last podcast, it was really good. That that Todd calling in was a nice touch to get the story straight. I really enjoyed that. That was actually a really good half an hour of really – insightful good storytelling yeah uh, i enjoyed that a lot so yeah, good it job. Was heavy storytelling that that episode yeah yeah, yeah. And these well, guys have a million stories so no, well then to refresh mark's mind i mean all these all the <laughs> yeah. things that he cannot remember yeah I mean, nick, nick said was, it was like as the story was telling it's like he was living it uh, yeah. all over yeah. again Spe- yes speaking yes. of nick how he was making fun of you for, for forgetting what that van was we went to walmart today and he couldn't remember where we parked the car so <laughs> uh, see, walmart the highlands <laughs> yeah well that's not unusual though i've done that I go to Kroger. Well, I mean, Nick's a young whippersnapper. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, Jeez, that he's that in his prime. Well, I guess so. Right in the middle of the mean, day. Thank goodness for the the key fob that makes your yeah. car. That, <laughs> did, is that what Nick yeah. ended up doing? Beep, beep. No, we were just wandering, wandering around. Wandering around, around yeah, <laughs> yeah but Matt, that, those were good stories and uh, that we could tell many, many more. We could talk about NASCAR, oh, yeah. uh, some great NASCAR trips with your Tons. dad and some of the other guys, all the t- races we went to, Mountaineer games, Chris. We penguin games. Penguin, penguin you guys games, old penguin games. Years and years of Amazing. season tickets with Jerry Wiltz. Mm-hmm. Penguin games. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could talk about uh, going up to WWE at Pittsburgh. and <laughs> But, but there's, a, there's a common denominator in all those uh, stories, though. <laughs> it definitely is an <laughs> alcohol. Not beer. Right. Yeah. No. Heavy, right here. heavy drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> But it's been good. I appreciate, I'm glad you appreciated that, Matt, and I hope yeah, everybody was, else out yeah, there did. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to bore everybody with stories. I yeah. I don't tell a lot of stories because I think it bores people, but they are they are fun when uh, when when you get talking about them and rekindle some fun memories. So hopefully we'll uh, def- we'll we'll touch on a few more of those. Uh, I, I was going to say and, that and so, a lot so, more. So Nick's dad had a hole in his pocket, seriously, with his key with the keys. Like is and that? That's how uh, they yeah. fell out. Is that how we, we determine that? Well, Job like you with your wallet. Though. Yeah, it had a hole in it. I didn't wear those <laughs> pants on vacation because I was too afraid I was going to do that. Yeah, Todd. Todd I'd get rid of those pants if I were you. Guys. I knew Todd would remember that. Todd is uh, Todd's. He was. He was the. Uh, he Todd. Todd doesn't over drink. You right, know, right. He, he always seemed like a level headed right. guy yeah, in the room and, all the time. And, and Todd is absolutely the smartest guy among us. Yeah. I mean, he's mm-hmm. a he's a Bethany grad grad with a. Probably a summa cum laude uh, yeah. degree, and he's just a he's a he's a brilliant guy, and he's got a memory like an elephant. I yeah. knew when we called him, he would no, that was remember. good. That was really good, yeah. really good job by you guys. He yeah. uh, he and I are absolute polar opposites. I don't remember shit, and he he absolutely <laughs> remembers everything. But it does come back to me. It, it takes me a while. I got to be you know prompted to to remember those but mark what you said though just about todd how, what you said about him and it, it, it's no surprise that he solved it like he found the keys to the <laughs> i, mean, I can't like, believe he and he like, drove I mean, up to that to the state police and yeah, all that damn. yeah i mean he sorted out a lot of yeah, shit many, while the rest of the guys were still hung over drunk <laughs> right how many times did he drive to uh where were you guys no, like either taylor's town or clay'sville yeah, yeah. yeah. nick what, said, three three times. Times. Nick said no one's ever driven that many times to clay'sville on the same day yeah he's probably right you know it's amazing speaking about like forgetting and and dropping things i i think on our trip i don't think anybody lost anything i don't think we we forgot anything 
That Except your plane. Well, you didn't make the plane. plane. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Cooley's got yeah. one. Yeah, Nick forgot his Apple Watch charger. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, he left it down there? He left it there? I think at the airport or something. Oh. Yeah, he I heard he left it as a tip for that boat captain <laughs> he went out. Oh. I heard he was a hell of a guy. Well, say, say, lost, <laughs> say lost his watch and you guys found it, right? Oh, the, yeah. bottom yeah. of the, the bottom yeah. of the yeah. seat? So, yeah, yeah we, uh, we took a private. The bikini bottom. Yeah, it basically was. We took a private boat charter out onto in Antigua, out around the coast. And if nobody knows what a private private charter is especially the ones that you can get at, at resorts like that you go out and they have a bar on the boat and you can just get as much alcohol as you want and drink on the boat and they take you around to different spots and you get out on the water we scuba dove look like say dive. took that to heart with to get well, any bottle just, you we want didn't snorkel and jump. We or, snorkel. sorry snorkeled we snorkeled over to a shipwreck though from 1905 it was like a oh uh, wow yeah it's cool Cargo ship. What was his name? There. I said it was the Edmund I, Fitzgerald. <laughs> it yeah. It's a little south for, it was for Edmund. To, but... uh, it, it was a, tr- a cargo ship going from Antigua, I think, to uh, maybe Turks and Caicos, or oh. maybe uh, that's it. it. No, that's it. Was it Turks? Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, yeah. so just like a merchant ship yeah. from island yeah, to island. It, okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got yeah. blown down. It's amazing <laughs> how many well, shipwrecks there are over the sea. Oh, I have a map amazing. of the whole East Coast. It's really, really neat. Really? How many actual ships have actually sunk? Is beyond what you would ever think. Yeah, there was um, there was another was really one that cool. we went uh, uh, scooter snorkeling. That you hold on to a thing and uh-huh. you go, you snorkel on like it takes you through the water. Right. Have, have you guys put up uh, put up? I saw cool as you posted some pictures. Have you put anything up so people can see? Uh, no, I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll have to put some on oh, the finder. That, that, well, the, the, the sites were unbelievable. Yeah, dude, I awesome. recorded some stuff, so I might do a little thing, little side thing for to put out on social media and YouTube, but. Yeah, it was it was fun. So what was the highlight? Yeah, anyway, continue with your what the was char- I saying? The charter with the oh yeah. So, Apple so the char the charter you just you can drink all you want, and they bring food out like fruit and little like deli sandwiches and stuff like that, and uh, it, they'll take you around to different spots. And uh, we snorkeled over that ship, and there were like you know we saw jellyfish and stuff, and I got stung a bunch, but <laughs> um, I got stung on the lip, uh, but. Yeah, we, we we did that, and then they took us to a private beach, and uh, they pulled the boat up onto the beach, and then we were jumping off the back, uh, but Nick wanted to jump off the top of the ship. It was two floors, so Nick wanted to jump off the top, so they backed the boat up. How and, shallow was the water? Well, for where we were jumping off originally, it was, I don't know, eight feet, but then oh. when they backed it up to where we were jumping off the top of the deck, it was like 30 to 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was pretty so, deep. Uh, uh, I take my watch off. Say mentioned it, and I took my watch off and put it in Cooley's bag. And I, I think he said he would do it after he did the first time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but he he jumped off, and you know we were swimming around having fun. And then he got up on the boat, and I said, "Did you take your watch off?" And he goes, "He goes no," and it wasn't on his wrist. <laughs> so then we looked around the ship, and then. We couldn't find it, so we assumed it was in the water. Everybody jumps over the edge, and we had snorkel gear, so everybody put snorkeling gear on, and we just swam the the boat like sharks. Mm. And Jarrett finally was waving. He got it, and Say said it looked like like there was blood in the water. Everybody <laughs> went over to this shark. And then the lady that was on the boat, uh, what was her name? Uh, uh, Linnell. 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 We, called her, we called her Maka. Maka for, down there, it's a word for uh, uh, gold digger. We call her because oh. she, she had like Gucci glasses on. and mm-hmm. uh, But she uh, she do- dove 30 feet down, grabbed the watch, worked perfectly is fine. It, is it, it is um, the watch obviously water? Yeah, yeah water, water resistant. Water, yeah. I think it's water. What's proof, the crush right? depth yeah, on one of those? I, I don't know. I don't obviously know. Obviously not they, 30 feet. Yeah, I know. Good it product good. they make over yeah. there. Yeah, but we found it. Yeah, we found yeah. Made in uh, Taiwan or How'd something. How'd you spot it, Jared? Well, the, well, I mean, the water's crystal clear. What, and I was just. Was it black? It was no, the water. No, was the watch black? No, no. it was uh, like. It was pink. It was pink, I think. Yeah, that was I was just going on the top of the water, and I was getting pretty far away from the boat, and I just. I. I was like, oh, there it is. And I tried I tried to go down and get it, and couldn't I couldn't. Down, yeah. I, I, was, yes. I ran out of breath. I was like, I kind of started to panic. So, I, Ma- oh, yeah, got yeah. it. Marco yeah, went and got it. Well, she went and got it. Yeah, I Damn. tried I tried the first time, and I got it. I got the top water. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, the, 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 we pulled up on the beach, and like there's some local guys that were on jet skis. Like they were doing tricks on jet skis. They came on, and they were drinking with us, and they were having a fun time. It was it's really good people down there. They're like, yeah, they, they were, everybody was nice. Th- we didn't run into one other than like the people, other than then the British people at the yeah. resort. One lady was a complete bitch, but she, <laughs> other than her, her and everybody else, cap, every, her and our fishing boat captain. Yeah, yeah. other heard, than heard them, good. it's a great. Great play and antique was they're all friendly down there. It was a fun time. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah. What was the highlight? 
Uh, you had to pick one. I mean, highlight uh, that charter it was a really action packed. It was yeah. very action packed. The, the scooter snorkeling was cool. Uh, jet, jet ski was really cool. jet ski was really fun. Hey, cools. I, I I think it's tough to pick the the best thing that happened, but I guess <laughs> ultimately, uh, unquestionably, you know what the worst thing that happened, right? Oh, You're, the deep sea fishing. Deep sea no, fishing. Uh, talk about that for a minute. Well, well yeah, and, and I and I think what we'll do sometimes yeah. is get everybody yeah. on here to talk about it. But yeah, go give ahead. Them the, yeah, give them give the give us the rundown. Well, we walked the up, capsule version. <laughs> we actually walked up to the dock to go deep sea fishing. We saw this first guy who told us it was canceled. So we're like, oh, <laughs> I forgot like, about that. We told boss, and boss is like. Bullshit, it's canceled. <laughs> so the guy, was it choppy waters that day? Was there oh, storms yeah. off the coast well, or what? Well, funny you ask that because well, we, I know you I said asked, the waves were uh, high. We asked the same that's... thing to the guy, and we'll he'll probably get into it. Yeah. But he said, I said, hey, is it normally this rough? Yeah. And it's 15, right, right, 20 right. foot waves. And he goes, no, no, today's a perfect day. He yeah. said, today was perfect good, day. Today was good conditions. <laughs> but anyway. It's a perfect day yeah, for him. Perfect to day for him cash. to take your cash. cash. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Frank. Frank is a dick. I mean, not <laughs> wait, was Frank the captain? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Captain. Who, who was the dude? He, he was the first got in a mate. Fight with. I think his first mate. I think his name was Paulie. I think Paulie. The, Paulie I, the I think, first mate. I think okay. it was Paulie. I think. Uh, so yeah. go ahead, cool. Frank looked like he's had sunburn plenty of times. So he's like Captain Ahab. Yeah. Yeah. He had I mean, he like leather skin. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, he took us out there. You think like most people when you get on a boat like that, the, like the guide would talk to you or like explain what's going on. He just, all right, get on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like we're sitting there we're like oh so where are you from like where you at he goes ah well I'm from here yeah, yeah like so, I, I'm trying to make social, one, right? one word yeah, answer I'm trying uh, to make conversation with the guy because it was already awkward because you know six of us yeah. idiots on the boat and we're we're sitting there you know you, like Cooley said you think he'd say hey guys like you know what's going on we're gonna you, we're gonna get you set up fishing <laughs> Where, where are you from? Hope you're yeah, having fun. No, we had to ask where he was no, from. No, that's what I'm saying. You <laughs> yeah. thought he would say, where are you from? Yeah, Hope yeah. you're having said, fun. what are we fishing for? He said, Marlon. <laughs> Anything else? It's an ocean. Like, like, and then I, I think you, load of fish you, asked, you asked again, and he goes, he goes uh, Marlon, sailfish, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And that was Jesus, it. Dude, Jeez. Speak up. Make it fun or something, because I'm just out here on this boat driving around for three hours in dead silence. So you guys insane. sat down so, yeah. and then never got up for three hours? Three hours. Ne- never, yeah, so. got, never got up, never saw a fish, never touched a pole. <laughs> you yeah, guys so, would have been better off and, with Quint from Jaws. Yeah, as yeah, yeah. And soon as you got off, he said, how you paying? That's yeah. it. <laughs> oh, he, said, he said ten words, and, and uh, three of those are how you paying. Yeah, he, oh. yeah, Why so, did you not... Stand up! Why didn't you? F- well, what happened? Because mess. normally, w- normally, what you assume if you're taking a fishing, ch- a deep sea fishing charter, is you troll, which you put the fi- the poles behind you, and right. then you troll out and catch marlin right. or something big that'll follow the bait. And normally, you troll on the way out. You sit for an hour or two. You just regular fish, and then you troll on the way back in. Mm-hmm. Well, the boat only had trolling poles, and I, at the very first, he didn't believe me. I said, I don't think we're going to stop. I don't think we're going <laughs> to stop the boat. And he was like, oh, no, 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 we're going to, and for three hours, we did the same thing, just boom. Was it? Was the boat going up? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it was bad. Did Loopy, how many times Loopy puke? <laughs> yeah. Well, he was dry heaving because he didn't eat anything. So yeah, he, he had just, nothing to throw up. Bad. And who else threw up? Did you throw up? No, no I no. almost did. Yeah. Sadly, but you didn't throw up because yeah, of the waves. Loopy was getting to me. I got an easy stomach, so if I hear someone throw up, I'm going to vomit everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was, did Nick throw up? No, but he was miserable. Nick was not. Well, he claims he, he wasn't. He claims he wasn't sick. He's going to come on this podcast at some point and defend himself, but he was sick. Yeah. He, was, he was probably sick about a bet he had lost or something that day. It, I, it, in all honesty, though, it was funny. It was really, it was really. Hel- funny. It was horrible, but it was. Yeah. Or it At least you all survived. But it was literally miserable. It, yeah. was, a, it was a lot of. Money it was probably for the, the biggest waste yeah. of three hours of my entire Sounds life, like and it, it would have gone another hour. Been like going to a pirate game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was it was terrible. Yeah, never saw a fish. When we parked, that when sucks. I had to stand up, I almost fell over because I hadn't stood up for that long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and I told Sam, how many miles out did you guys go? Oh, man. Approximately, I mean, it was like, it was like what was your boat speed? Feet. You could barely see the island. It was so it took you like three hours to get out there. Yeah, yeah what yeah. two two probably an probably hour and a half, two hour, hour, hour and a half, half 25, yeah. 30, 40 yeah. miles. Oh, yeah. oh, I'd say every, that's a guy just miles. looking for cash. He yeah. didn't care. What we I, got out there and, and like you could barely you could barely see the island. Like it was just a sliver. I'm surprised you could even see it. Wow. And when we were out there, all I could think about is how in the hell did Vikings 
sail over that. <laughs> we got a motor on this thing, and we're about to flip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Vikings, paddles. Vikings and Antigua. Yeah. Man yeah. rowing the boats. Yeah, it was it was incredible though. I mean, I did, but like I said, it was funny. We got some funny stuff to talk about. Some down somewhere down the line, but uh, yeah, we pulled in. And the worst thing about those boats is that. If you're not used to being on a boat, even if you don't get sick in the beginning, yeah. when you're laying you in bed legs. that night, oh, yeah. all you feel I, like my whole it felt like the whole room was was mm-hmm. going. And mm-hmm. but I didn't get sick, thankfully. But it was good. But. So the trip was uh, the trip was great, other than the fishing and the flight. Oh well, yeah, and, yes. the, and then we and, and, then and the coming flight. back, we we did must miss our our flight coming home that we were. Stuck, but that, but that, wasn't, that wasn't your guy's fault, though, right? No, it was, uh, we got stuck on the tarmac. Another plane was in our, ga- uh, uh, what do they call them? Yeah, our gate. Yeah. Our, gate. our gate. You guys were in no hurry to come back to this place. No, nah, but yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I told, I think I, I can't remember who I said to. I said, we've had such a fun time the first three days. Our luck is going to run out soon, like quick. Because we had a blast, like back to back to back days, sure. and we had no issues. And then it's like a winning streak; and you're due to lose yeah, one. Yeah, yeah but yeah. what Cooley say when you got caught in the uh, caught in the airport and you had to stay? What did he say? What did he say? Oh, oh, you said you were you said you were so excited because you get to hang out with your friends for another day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we went and got we watched a movie and what was the best meal you had? Ooh. Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. God, if that's true, I, oh, I feel dude, sorry I, for you guys. I, I like that it. octopus oh, though. That looked good. No, no it did. That looked disgusting. Oh, shit, no, Matt, it was horrible. No, it was it horrible. It was rubbery. I mean, no, Matt, it was no. horrible. It was, <laughs> might be the worst thing I've ever eaten. Like it, it's it, like eating a tire. Yeah, <laughs> they had no flavor to it. It no. tastes well, like if I it, ate Jared's just finger, dropped some slime on a tire and eat it. The finger looked like it would taste. Personally, I think I'd taste a lot better. I was gonna, but I guarantee you, deep fried. Yeah, if you did it, I don't know. You can compare mean? that unless you uh, try to tire. Maybe <laughs> texture wise. <laughs> yeah. Charles no, Goodyear. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We talked about him last yeah. time. Yeah. Now, now speaking again. of flights, I asked Jared how the flight was. He said, I was. Uh, it was terrible. I couldn't sleep. I said, Didn't you use yeah, your my, didn't, oh. you, didn't you use your oh. neck uh your neck pillow? He said, Yeah, but he said it kept it was too long. It kept hitting the back of the seat. I said <laughs> What do you mean it's too long? So I've got a question for everybody here at the table and out there. Yes, out there. Please. I have, I have a neck pillow Where did that come from? Yeah. I have a neck pillow. And my question is, do you wear a neck pillow like this? Like how you see in the movies. And like you lay back like this, or do you wear it? Or front ways, like around your neck like a collar. What do you guys say? Well, that way. Absolutely. I believe that the first way you put it on is the correct way, but I have heard recently that people, there is a trend now, people are wearing it like this. I heard about it that's starting to happen so, on so planes. Your, so your head doesn't I know down? flight attendant, yeah. and she told yeah. me this is a new thing now. This is the way to do it? I've never, yeah, well, ever here's, heard. It doesn't here's, okay, seem right yeah. to me. So, the way you had it the first time Okay, so right here's the problem Something with like that this. one. Can I see that? Let me see that real quick. So so this one, if you get a cheap one like this, the pirate one. <laughs> it, <laughs> that it, a giveaway? It, it, it doesn't <laughs> Nothing have, paid for that, by the way. It it doesn't have uh this is nice the the material but it doesn't have anything that holds this together right mine which isn't nice it has a clip that holds this together yep. so if you do use it this way you could tight it like real tight to your neck like a like a neck brace but like Jeez. with this if i put it like this like front ways it's just going to keep falling off like Whoa. i just no, what, not if your chin. Jerry, uh, demonstrate. This is how I th- absolutely. Plus, your your esophagus gonna, gets crushed. Right. <laughs> Everybody oh, listening is gonna have. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you don't it's put it on that tight. <laughs> if you're what well, everybody listening is gonna have to watch on YouTube to see the full. But but this is how I. He's work. putting it on front way yes, so front his chin so rests my chin, on it. Yes, so I would be like this, and just go in the plane <laughs> like that. <laughs> I I I I don't think that's how that would design. I mean, but but you but, but, but why do you you do you plus, sleep straight with your head down like you this? You don't go that far down. Yeah, yeah but I'm that's saying just, that's what the pillows there for. You just just right here. Wait, you cool? Are you saying it's that way? Hundred percent. Just cock to the yeah, side. Hundred percent that way. Here's the thing: if you put it backwards like your head's this, like, that's I, how I've all, I've always but done but it absolutely. that way. Like, it it depends on the way you sleep. If you're going back, like straight back, like well, that, then that would make yeah, sense. But you you don't sleep back. You sleep on the side. So do I. So I would use it yeah, the other way too. See, like, like I you. think that if you had it this way, you can't put your head back. Like that's you're just you're kind of like. 
like well, was stiff as a board. Well, what you texted him proves your point wrong. Is because if you put it, let me see. If you put it front well, ways, I figured out the, the way the I, seat I, pushes it off. Well, that's what he but said. I, yeah. but, but I figured out that might have just been Southwest seat. Oh, we, wow, we, this seat, flipped, we flipped so the front. Depends tier. on we what went, flight yes, you. Yes, if take. you're on Frontier, then it's okay. <laughs> or Spirit. Job. How do I sleep on the plane? Yeah, well, I, I oh, told, on, I told on, him on this. The, on the well, uh, table. So, yeah, so. On the table. It, it, <laughs> on on uh, Southwest, they have real nice big trays. Mm-hmm. Like, you can sit a plate and a cup. But on, on Spirit and on Frontier, the tray is probably, like, double my phone. Mm-hmm. So you can't really put a whole lot. So Cooley, he sleeps, with, and you'll have to see this. He sleeps like this. <laughs> he sleeps like this. On the, <laughs> On, on the tr- on the tray, with his head yeah, straight down on the tray. tray. But he got he got Seven. he got right. mad because the the, the trays no, this guy got lunchable. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't fit his whole head on the on the tray on the, the spirit trays. You yeah. sleep straight down. Yeah, my back hurts so bad. So so when you're when you're when the uh, stewardess tells you you got to put your tray up. It's no, cool, it cool always they cool always skin. have to tell cool him. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> always <laughs> have to tell him. Are so, you allowed to sleep that way? Yeah, I with think your so. head on the tray. I yeah. Think so. Okay. Yeah. Just answer me this question. I hope it's no. None of you guys take your shoes off on the plane no, and have bare feet, do no, you? No, no. I, I think people should be shot immediately <laughs> for that. I think that is an absolute filthy thing. You see these people walk into the bathroom on the planes with their. It's, it's sickening. It's, it's sickening. Think about how many people have been on there. Oh, it's, 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 it's a bad epidemic. Have you, have you guys seen any animals in the airport? No, like but that? we did have an animal in front of us. Damien, if you ever see this podcast, <laughs> this little kid named Damien. He was Damien. the worst. Well, just that name That's alone. That's the son of yeah. Satan. I was going to say, that name alone. Yeah. He, he was at probably about, I'd say, seven, eight years old. He was a child from hell. He was like, he was making these noises the whole flight. He was going, eh, oh boy, the whole flight. What? Was Uh-oh. that a gun or a lamb? Yeah, I don't know. And then he had, then he had his phone. And uh, well, here's here's another problem. If you the the and I don't blame it all on him. I blame it on his, his parents. Mother. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he had course. his phone on full volume playing a game. How do like, you know his name was Damien? Because we heard it seventeen <laughs> yeah. times. Oh, Damien, oh. sit still. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. kind of shit. <laughs> but he had his phone on full Damien. volume. Yeah, Damien. Full volume. He <laughs> the was, Omen was that that movie? <laughs> 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 he had his phone on full volume and playing a game. Around, <laughs> <at him>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then he was he was talking as loud as he could, and not one time did his mom go, "Hey." Quiet down, or hey, turn that down. A I bet bit. he's good in school. Oh, oh, it, what, speaking of that, what do you guys think the most annoying thing on a flight is like to, to happen on a flight? Like guys talking real loud, guy people, on the phone, or barefoot talk, yeah. person people walking a around. Conversation incredible if, loud. If you so if it's a nighttime flight and you oh not a nighttime if it's like an early morning flight and you raise a little window and the that's sun's the coming in, in, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Especially if you're on the side where the sun's hitting yeah, real hard. I'm trying like, to sleep. Yeah, yeah that's, that is a, that's a good one. There's so many obnoxious people in this world. It, it's, oh, it's really, horrible. it really makes it tough to even want to travel. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of people on the plane, though, the guy's sitting between Jub and I, and about an hour into the flight, oh. he reaches down and just whips out this big box of pasta. Yeah. And what? Just like a to-go it? box? Yeah. Yes. A, a big Take-away to-go box. box. That'd be, that'd be what, Sabora? And, 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 Where's it from? And I told him, not like. <laughs> Not only does eating on a plane already is a, is annoying enough because mm. I think eating on a plane, unless it's the little Especially snacks, you're in the right. middle. But he had a middle full, seat? a yeah. full oh, like like rigatoni like meal, you guys, and it stunk up the whole. You guys should that, start burping that's, and that's farting like and shit. Like middle of my yeah. sleep. Uh, who thinks that's a good idea? And then he yeah, got right. towards the end of the flight, and he kept he would he would whisper me to something in his breath. <laughs> so <laughs> bad, Garlic it was bread. so. Bad. Yeah, meatballs. Uh, I don't even know. I looked at it. <laughs> and I just want to. I want to knock it out of yeah, his hands. What, so what about? Here's another annoying one. What about the guy who's in like the 79th row and he gets up real fast when the plane and oh. tries to get tries to get his bag and run. To the front, yeah. like okay, asshole. They decided to let your row off yeah, first right. today. Like, Total you, like, dick move. You're not gonna like. You should just get beat up right there. Yeah. You should, they should trip you, and then everybody in front of you gets to beat Stomp you, up, on walk you, over punch you, you on the way their luggage over you. Yeah. What, what do people think? People don't have. They don't have common sense. There's no, There's no we, common we, sense. Job, if that's a 340 passenger plane. <laughs> He's probably not. gonna survive. <laughs> oh, well. one shot, you get one punch as he goes or a up. kick. Yeah, Here. he gets to go first, but everybody gets to punch him on the way. Out. Right. Jared, tell that. Tell the story about. Uh, I think you said it was on the plane. Did Nick fart on the plane? <laughs> oh, that was a damn. Oh, that was job. Jo- I'm sure he's he gonna love job. me telling this story. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, he was just. He was just. He was a gas bag. The whole. What What did we call his bed all week? 
Oh, the pig pen. <laughs> oh, the pig pen. Oh, well, yeah. He's, he's not going to lie. Poor Nick. Uh, he's not here to defend what, himself. What did, what did he do? Was he sitting in the middle? Or oh, no, no, he was. He he, he <laughs> He's really going to hate me for telling yeah. me this. But he was sitting on the, the – we had a space between us, and I was on the window. He was on the aisle, and he just tapped me to go, it's going to be a long flight. <laughs> and he leaned up real hard. Wait, was this coming back? No, before he even took off. No. Wait, before, on the way yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it was. Sorry, on the way back, yeah. So this was post-octopus meal. Yeah, so, yeah. like, he had eaten all this stuff. And, <laughs> and he just goes, it's going to be a long flight, and just goes, <laughs> Like loud, like loud. So it was full plane. I was laughing so hard, people were looking at me. Oh, jeez. But yeah, that's yeah awesome. it was a good, good, uh, good, good trip, and we got some stuff to talk about. Back but, to the hold on. Back to the neck um, oh. cushion. Anybody out there? Text uh, or, or email in or what? What's that? Social Instagram? media. Social Let media. It, tell us how you believe. That that should be worn. Maybe we'll put a maybe we'll put a poll, poll up. Frontwards yeah. or backwards? Because we we have uh, we have differing opinions on that. Who here. all right? Who I I well all right? Is this backwards? Well, this that's is backwards. Under, under your that's chin backwards. or behind your neck? So this under your chin or behind your neck? Under the chin. Behind the neck. Yep. Who votes for behind the neck? Behind the neck. Yeah. Behind, behind the, the neck. neck. I'm yeah. saying sleepers option. That's a fair. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'll say behind, but that's the way I would use it. But I, I might be inclined to try it a new way if I ever decide to fly again because right. I don't want to deal with these pig yeah, pen animals like he got. Who's your 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 under the chin? I'm under the chin. So we have chin two strap. under the chin, four for behind the neck. Well, right. One, yeah, one, 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 asterisk, one, asterisk. Asterisk. one flyer's asterisk. choice. Matt's, hey, all right. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad Matt's gonna try. He's yeah. gonna try the new so, way. Trying to be neutral new- here. <laughs> yeah, if you have an uh, opinion on that, if you have a strong opinion on that, send yeah. us a. E- We're trying to solve major world right. problems right. like this. <laughs> Email, <laughs> social media at the Pine Room Podcast, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. But we have news. I wanted an email. And we got two emails. No way. Right now? We got two emails. Not in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, right who's watching? Where are they? <laughs> we got two. It's the emails. Doyles. Now I'm not going to read uh, uh, the the full of these, but we got an email from John, and we got an email from Jason. King John. Yeah, King John from last episode. We have an email from John. Where's John from? Uh, John is. I believe he still lives in Wheeling. I know him personally. Uh, he said, uh, "Really enjoy listening to the podcast. I wait for you to upload every week. I usually spend my long drives back and forth to work listening to your podcast." All right, John. And then um, he said, "Hot pit, cold mug, stuck from the beginning. Hard to make that change now. Anyways, love the podcast. Keep it up. Uh, keep up the entertainment." So that was from John. Did, did he send what size T-shirt? Uh, no, but I'll get it from him. But uh, since we got two, I feel like we should because this is a, this is a great email. This is from Jason. He says, "Is Jason from Wheeling?" No, yeah, I know where. Jason's no, he's from, from Ohio. Jason. He from, says, "Actually, I know Olentangy." Yes, and he oh, says, Olentangy. "This is to save the state of Ohio, since the Pine Room shits on us all the time." <laughs> <laughs> I'm coaching a summer collegiate league in Myrtle Beach this summer, and I do agree, Ohio drivers suck. But when it with it, but with with it comes to dri- when it comes to drivers from South Carolina, specifically Myrtle Beach, it doesn't come close. I get cut off at least five times a week. There are cars sitting in the middle of an intersection when there is a red light because they're too impatient to wait. Whenever I see a crazy driver down here, it's always someone from South Carolina. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to defend the great state of Ohio since <laughs> no one can defend it in the Piner. <laughs> and then he says, "P.S. Uh, him and his uh, girlfriend, they are uh, actually fiance." Um, uh, they listen every week. They absolutely love it. We love listening to the pod. We love listening. Can't wait for the next episode. We enjoy every one of the podcast besides Cooley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeez, Cooley, they should hate me the worst. I said the worst about Ohio. But Jason, you are right. I've been down the Myrtle Beach a few times. And the drivers really do suck down and then, there, and you get a lot of tourists. Yeah. That's another problem. Yeah, well, yeah, Horrible I guess drivers. the population is. is yeah, a and up. then they get rental cars, and yeah. they don't know what the hell they're doing. But bad, says, bad drivers um, everywhere. Also, I do like hot pit cold mug, but if you want to rename it, you could do fact or crap. Uh, that is from Jason and Danny. Thank you All for right. listening. Yeah, Jason, Jason, good one. Good Jason one. we don't we don't emails. hate the state of Ohio. No, we no. just we just don't like the drivers from Ohio. <laughs> but, but you know what? We're close to Ohio, and it, it probably hurts us worse because we see them all the time. Yeah, from Ohio, yeah. So yeah, there's gonna, shitty drivers I everywhere. Guess if Pennsylvania go, sucks too. If that makes yeah. you feel yes, any better. Yeah. Absolutely terrible drivers in Pennsylvania. Yes. Florida, Florida, hey, Florida's not oh, much better. Florida, no, Florida, Florida are speed freaks. They're speed freaks. They'll go up on the shoulder and pass you. You know who beats all of those? 
Antiguan drivers. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Well, God. They, they drive by a different Wait, code, Joe. Uh, they, they, we have a guy here who drives for a living, yeah. and we should probably get his opinion because he probably Insight. Chris scours could, could, up and could, down the could coast. Could tell us more than anybody what what, what he thinks of the, the uh, driving situation. Well, when I'm out there, it's it's fine. I, I really I don't I don't get I don't get cut off. And, I mean, Jeez. I'm out in rural what's, what's areas. What's up with these neutral answers today? Yeah, guys? Geez, well, I mean, oh, I, don't worry. And I don't, that won't Chris, last for long. I really don't have anything bad to report. You, you on know, my driving. I mean, I do was. You, do you think Ohio drivers, though, in, in maybe just in this area because they come in across the tri-state the bridge, area? Do you think they? Do you notice that they? All, no, they I don't think, use turn signals ever. They tailgate. Yeah. I think it's a myth. Usually shit's hanging off you their think car. It's a myth? Yeah. I mean, no, they, I don't, they don't have to get might, their cars uh, in special. Yeah. So they got more pieces of shit. Yeah, like their leave. mirrors are dangling oh, yeah, down. Right, like, right. like Jub's truck, they got, it would have been legal in Ohio. Oh, yeah. I got, hey, I got stuck coming up Riley Hill today. I couldn't get up. I t- took the turn and my car stopped and I rolled backwards. <laughs> on the, great I'm, hill to roll I'm down. I'm surprised, Chris, yeah. that you don't. No, I honestly, I mean. Really? Wow. Yeah. You well, know what? It's, it's Chris placebo. is a pacifist now. He's yeah. Mr. Gentle. Like, I'm not Jeez, out there, Mr. you know, <laughs> perching every driver that cuts me off. Well, I didn't say that. I don't do that either, but Matt I. Matt does. Probably. Fuck <laughs> you. I didn't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. well, God shit. damn. Hey, but no, but. <laughs> Chris and Matt are not getting along. Today. Uh, it's violent. He's going after no, me today. Yeah, well, yeah, you are. He, he hasn't been here since. In, well, like, oh, hey. trust me, I don't want to be here now. It's a right. good thing you guys are making this fun for me. I don't want to be Chris back is here. A edgy. Well, you, no, but you talk about like the, the hate email you should get from Ohio uh, listeners. <laughs> Wait till Glenn Elliott listens a couple of these things. <laughs> hey, big news though! What? Huge news. You what? guys heard the news? What? After, well, you said it after seven years. What happened? The streetscape. Uh, project is going out to bid. Wait, seven years from now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After seven years of us driving on the, the fucked up streets <laughs> of war, war, Wheeling, war, 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 yeah. it's war, going war, to bid. So then, and then after the bid, then it will be. The, the, I'm bid. sure they'll have to get another. Uh, uh, Probably uh, second opinion. Sit on his desk for a few another, months. Another uh, committee together to, to decide what they're going to do. What well, does it, what does up, up for bid mean? It, yeah, well, they got to put the, they gotta the, put the whole the whole. Uh, uh, specs together of what they want done. It's 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 the streets, the the curbs, the st- the sidewalks, the lighting, the the landscape, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything. What I, else? I, so, I, uh, how long you think that's city. gonna last? Yeah. Just knock the city over and yeah. rebuild it at this point. <laughs> well, Mark, well, just I mean, I mean down. they are trying to refurbish things yeah. down there, but the the streets are embarrassing, and and our our. Our uh, higher ups should be embarrassed about that. They really should. They should. And yeah. hey, they really should. I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, I like those guys. Uh, from what I know of Mayor Elliott and you know the, the the vice mayor and those guys. But this bullshit. I mean, we should not have to drive on mm. those streets no. for this long. Patch well, them up and, a little and bit. I think it's embarrassing for people that come to the city that come to yeah. the city from out of town who want to like who just want to either are coming through or are coming to Wheeling. Yeah, hopefully, they're just passing. Makes us look like a dump. Right. How could you draw people? How we can are. you draw young people to come here when they can't? When they're fucking, they're going to have to spend the first. Month of their or, uh, being here at the at the uh, at Blyfus Tire, yeah. <laughs> getting, uh, they must have contracts line. with the tire company. I guarantee he doesn't want them to. No, no, Brian, no. Brian's Brian, going to try yeah, to slow no. that process. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They don't Brian, yeah, yeah, National yeah, Tire and Battery, all right. those places. Yeah, I mean, you Fulton really, Tire, it's Stony two, Hollow. It's a two lane road, but the only way you can do it is to to get one lane to go in the middle to straddle that. That thing down the middle yeah. that yes. they, yeah. they well, dug that, that sewer there, line. There's well, no way that horse and buggy were bumpier than it is to drive. Down no, the no, no, there's no fucking it, chance. It, it could be no gravel. chance. It could yeah, be absolutely. Like you could a, be in the back and out wagon. It could be dirt or gravel, like a cobble, better. like a cobblestone yeah, road. There's no, no chance that the horse had well, a harder well, time you know, than the, a car. The next thing they'll do, they'll put those steel plates down and then. Oh yeah, those are great. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, wait, wait till that start. Wait a big sign that says bump. Yeah, bump, bump. Well, and it just like you said though, but like so someone say travels two three hours and they're getting close to wheeling and they, they're they're approaching the uh the the ford henry bridge and they see well welcome to west virginia oh we're finally here then they just take that uh that off ramp and then uh the, the war torn streets. They hit them right, right off the bridge, right. and then right to your right, there's a wheeling in. Yeah. <laughs> you got to think, yeah. are, are, is this the right? Well, city? Christ, that, where am I? We're that, in hell. Uh, Welcome Saigon. home. <laughs> that right lane's closed now. I think coming off the oh, that exit sister. now. I think that I think that's yeah. closed. They were putting some barrels up today. Yeah, there, so there was all there was forty guys out there when I was coming yeah. home from work. Yeah. I don't know what the hell. Champ was yelling. 
When are they going to be done with this shit? They've been doing it for two years. And you know what? I agree with you. No, he's right. When is the Fort Henry Bridge <laughs> ever going to be open? But it doesn't ever. affect It's all him. done, too. Yeah, it does. I mean, just, he's got to get the bus back over. Well, but he doesn't have to drive it. But. Have you guys come up from Lowe's lately and then try to uh, finagle going up? Um, I don't know what street. Oh, is cutting it? down to get back to go up over the hill. Is that what you mean? No, like just no, cutting it, streets over. You no, know, if you're coming up on Lowe's to get up on uh, route. Uh, oh yeah, it's a cost oh, of oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I literally I got scared one time. I said, I "Holy shit!" With all those barrels, all yeah. the barrels, and now, now and then they oh, change them. Too. He and says all the barrels. All the and then barrels. he changed it. You got to go this you. way. I thought. <laughs> I thought. Fuck it. Just I'm going. You're going the wrong way. Right. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, go no, down I, and I don't. I don't even things. mess with that. What, I will never their, go that um, way. So in Wheeling, what are their plans with the suspension bridge? Is that done? Well, Ace told me yet. summer of '23 it'd be open. <laughs> No, really? Yeah, but is that going to be is for... Is it going to be a driving... Yeah, that, I don't... Walk? Golf carts and pedestrians only. I don't know. <laughs> horse and buggy. Yeah, <laughs> horse and buggy, yeah. No, they don't know if it's pedestrians or traffic yet. They, so they're not sure. It, it ain't ever going to be traffic. There's no... Well, I, mean, I no hope, bad. but I... I really do, too. It's, then what the hell are they wait, working on it for, then? Hey, know. if they're painting it, it's, gonna, it's really going to be pretty. Ooh. I'd look Maybe at they it. can shoot fireworks off are it they again since they can't use it. Yeah, they're painting it. Just blow it up. Paint it red, white, and blue. Why you want to blow it up? Yeah, blow it up. That would be sweet. Yeah. yeah it'd be well, cool. no, I, like they should tear, like do that with the Belair Bridge right there behind. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. wait. I mean, that thing's. What? Is that that, that one, big coal like, bridge? It's rusted. It's, oh, it's, it's rusted. Like rusted. Yeah. It's like black. It's like a black bridge. If you want well, it's right. Oh, I, know what, I know what it's you're It's right by about. Undos. Right yeah. goes right yeah, over Undos. Right yeah. It's like you, it would connect Undos to the Sons of Italy right across the. Is that where it comes out on Sons of Italy? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, well, think, must, I didn't think it was down that far. We need the city, well, yeah, he, he, need a city planner from so Bel Air to call in, in he, right now. He, you can park. This. So now yeah. you could park it on those. Walk that bridge. Well, well, I don't know if you walked on it, probably I, collapsed. I, well, I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I just got to be holes with, in with it. tetanus. Yeah. 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 Hey, but let me ask you a question, Coach. And you were talking about, and I don't know, maybe somebody would know this, but since you're the oldest guy here, you would, might know this. Uh, when they when they do that stuff for up for bid, like does it always go to the lowest bid? I mean, yeah. That's like if the they meet, if they those meet, are the lowest bid. If they meet, well, I'm yeah. just saying because like so you, you know. three own a contractor's company. You each bid on the yeah. project. Whichever one of you comes in yeah, with the we, best uh, number, yeah, we, I'm going to go well, with you. Well, well, like, that, that, yeah. that, You're all doing the exact same work. We're giving you the scope of work, and you guys each bid, and there you go. So, so quality of work doesn't matter. Well, that's no. what I was hey, Chris, it's like you could just make it up and say, "Oh fuck, so well, yeah, like, we can do this." Jared and I could go down. Got to have a license though. He can't just yeah, you got to go off the street. No, you have to have a license. What about that Pine Room podcast? We go down and say, "Hey, we'll do it for five hundred dollars." No, you have to have. Hey, Mark, your dad could paint the bridge. Maybe you get that contract. It's like hiring. It's like hiring a teacher. They, like the guy with the most experience gets a job, no questions asked. I mean, mm-hmm. he could be the shittiest teacher ever, but he gets the job when they could have a guy uh, that's way more qualified but doesn't have the years of experience. Basically, the same thing. If the so, pod- okay, the lowest bidder gonna get the job. If the podcast does try to fix the road, I would not be helping. <laughs> not Wait, what it. do we? How would? How do we get our license? For uh, what? Contracting. We'll pay downtown <laughs> Wheeling, yeah. Google what if we did it? Actually, though? we probably couldn't do worse than what was going on down Do there. We not now, operate so. any of the equipment? Job, it'd be like, Listen, we could mix think- we could mix some of the patching shit. I've seen the guys that patch those holes. Yeah. I don't know, they're, they're the brightest guys. I know guys. how to use a jackhammer. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It. That's what's happened down there. We figured figure it out. You use an electric one. Oh, hey, you like you like speaking of jackhammers, you like, yes, Chris. And Dan T went and uh they had like a real nice be- oh, yeah. beautiful spa. Beautiful. They had nice music playing. There was like a pool. There were ladies in there. It was real nice. Off. They were talking like real quiet. And then you walk outside and to the right, ten feet to the right, a guy's running a jackhammer. <laughs> so that's yeah. supposed to be paradise, yeah. relaxing. Yeah. Dust yeah. going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That would happen to me. All right. Let's go. So we got something special. Uh, we got something that we need to work on and something we need your help with. So we have uh, the idea of creating a, a signature unique burger that is branded or just uh, with our name on it. Um, we have been in debates about uh, what we want on it. The only thing we know for sure, the only ingredient, the only piece of this burger that we know for sure is Texas toast. And outside of that, we don't know much. So, the challenge this week, or it's just the uh, just something for you to do. You can email us. Uh, actually, yeah, email us because we want to keep it. Uh, want to keep it uh, anonymous. Actually, no, you know what? Email us, social media, whatever, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. 
Uh, we're at the Pine Room Podcast. Give us ideas for uh, ingredients, whether there's uh, a burger that you've had that you think is is great that maybe we could we could take our own spin on it. Uh, whether there's uh, some kind of uh, signature sauce or an item or something that you would like to see on the burger, uh, you let us know. And then if if we end up coming down to the final decision of what we want on this burger and your ingredient or something, obviously there's going to be crossovers, but if your unique something that, that maybe nobody else has thought of, if that ends up being on this burger, we'll send you a little care package with mm-hmm. some stuff. So, uh, uh, And I meant to mention that uh, John and Jason, you'll be getting stuff anyway. But uh, for this burger thing... Uh, <laughs> send us, hit us up on social media because we need help. We need help building this thing. I think octopus tentacles would be <laughs> yeah. the top yeah. choice. Yeah, yeah. So That's I think uh, if you what send about us wheeling stuff, a, a higher river catfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, ooh. yeah, Yum. yeah. The Delicious. three eye catfish. <laughs> they glow in the dark. <laughs> 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 your burger. That's not the cheese glowing. That's your, that's your radioactive fish. <laughs> Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. We'll actually, uh, we might send it, we might do a little social media stuff, a little side thing, a little challenge thing for you guys to get involved with. But, uh, talking about social media, we put a poll up this week because we were talking about vacation. Uh, what better thing to talk about than the worst vacation that you can take? So, Jared, what do we got on take the Take it poll? away, Jared. Yeah. So, our question was, um, what is the worst place to go on vacation? We talked about, you know, Antigua was a good, good vacation. Uh, our dear friend Cooley, right next to us, uh, he on social media, he said Wheeling. Oh, <laughs> I know hey, Matt could agree. That's yeah. my number one. Yeah. Well, who, would, would, who comes here at Wheeling on vacation? That's uh, what people. I said. They I do. They go to Ogilvy. They come to my place oh, yeah. of employment. Oh, okay. And I'm thinking, what well, the hell are you doing? Yeah, well, is that- <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> That's strictly well, gambling. How, how bored yeah. do you got to be? Not here for the I think a casino every 12 miles yeah. somewhere else. I think Wheeling, West Virginia might be the most interesting town on earth. Oh, who geez. said that? I th- I'm saying that it's interesting. interesting. I don't know about for the right like, reasons. I'm not saying like exciting or int- like. Think about the things that like it, what bad roads, terrible what roads, just, like, what terrible all climate, all the, terrible uh, uh, air quality. Yeah, Let's just, see what else. The people, all the, all uh, the homeless morons, people, all the morons yeah. walking yeah. down, morons street. on it's every just, side of the it's, street, it's, beggars everywhere. Like, it's like nowhere else. Nick, we're, we're Nick's located. I'm. I'm gonna. I that. I'm not going to say that it's not a horrible place to live because it, there I, are some bad things about it. But home is home, and I got to no, no, defend I, my home. I agree I, about living here. Yeah. I, I'm I have no issue with where I grew up. I'm fine with that. <laughs> but if I ever came here on a vacation, yeah. spot, I would be incredible. Well, yeah, that's what I told our driver. Uh, our driver down there, Nick, was trying to convince him to come to Wheeling. I said, "Well, Wheeling's not exactly a place you want a vacation. Wheeling's what a, are you going to do? Wheeling's a two-hour town. You go in, you get Coleman's, you go stop you a few uh, restaurants, hit the Carlos on the way out, and that's it. It's <laughs> over with. And then laugh go at the Wheeling the Inn. Light. There you go. Yeah. Go see the yeah, lights. Go, yeah. <laughs> go meet up with a nice lady <laughs> well, yeah, at the sure. Wheeling Inn, and your two <laughs> I, hours is up. I think back, well, yeah, but I, I was just say back in the day, I think back in the day, Wheeling would have been a pretty interesting oh. place to come when there was a whorehouse and a bar on every corner. I think yeah. Wheeling's right. probably on every corner. That's, that's the, only, truth. That's I'd say the pre, only reason that's it would be truth. interesting. I'd oh. say pre-1990s, I would say Wheeling would have been a pretty good uh, spot. I'd say a little bit uh, earlier. I'd say back in the... 80s? In the Ew, even maybe a little bit further back in that, Matt. Oh, the things uh, I read about it, I grew up in the wrong time because it yeah. sounded like oh, this absolutely. would have been a hell of a time well, to yeah. a place it, to it, live in. And it was far it like Didn't, didn't they call Bill, Wheeling Little New York? Oh, yeah. Big, yeah. When Big Bill it was like was, Mafia City, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yes. it was. And there was literally, uh, it was incredible the amount of bars. Chris, you can. Oh, have. yeah. I don't, I don't, I just in Warwood alone, I think we had 13 bars. In uh, I think it was more than you guys. <laughs> would all, about you guys would always, uh, you guys would, would Champ knew them all. we'd be sitting around drinking beer or whatever. And we, you'd go from the south end of Warwood and work your way up. And you I, guys named every freaking bar. I thought it was 13. I, maybe it was more than that. Well, it, it was quite a few. Honestly, right? though, back in the day, a few. There, there was, an, and I, I mean, I'm, just saying, this is a fact. There was a whorehouse that on on literally like every street corner and in, in, gamble, gambling, yeah. whores, and drinking. Yeah. And, and it yeah. was, that sounds yeah. like a good vacation. Yeah. Right? It was incredible. Jeez. It was incredible back I, in the day. I it think was, the uh, the the what the PC word for that is a, a brothel. Oh yeah, brothel. Well, I don't think they <laughs> called it a PC. brothel. Fuck PC. I don't think they called it a brothel. Yeah, hey Chris, I was going to say that Wheeling's been an important city since colonial times, but I'm probably not allowed to say colonial anymore, right? Oh yeah, just like with Weeks wearing that shirt there, and I said Horrible. Robert Morris Colonials. <sighs> People, 
Go read a book. Figure something out here. Colonial's not <laughs> well, a bad I was word. Gonna, I, was, I know. I was going to bring that up last week, but it was such an upbeat show. We were laughing. Uh-huh. I didn't even bring that up. So, I, <laughs> What but, did we end on? I don't know. It was everybody. Oh, was, the penguin. No, no. That, was, that wasn't that Two weeks last ago. show. No, that wasn't. What, last week? Yeah, what did we end on last week? Merce- anyway. Mercedes. Uh, no. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, right, yeah. anyway. 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 <laughs> Matt, you're not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Matt, you're not gonna like this one. If somebody put Ocean City on there, I'm uh, gonna be someone, pissed. Someone S S A S N D M V Hoop Session two o two says Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, that's absurd. I mean, that's just absolutely absurd. Well, maybe Worst place bad, ever. Maybe something bad happened to that's, him. Yeah. What? What I don't know. He got, to you? got a bad whore. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I don't. I mean, yeah, I, don't I don't think know. that's yeah. what they're known for. But yeah. all right, now I take offense to that you're right. Anybody that has that ab- above wheeling is worse. Is crazy. <laughs> yeah, geez, I don't you're know insane. That. Ocean City. I enjoyed Ocean City. <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know why wheeling's a, a vacation Wait, destination. You, I'm going to give you hey. mine because people go to Ogilvy. Uh, see, I mean, well, see no, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. when you're done, Jared, I'm going to give you my my, I mean, my bottom awesome. five. It's I already a, told you number one. Ogilvy's awesome. <laughs> it's a winner. Yeah. It's a winner vacation place. Ogilvy's awesome. Yeah. You can know. You can I mean, go golf. Well, yeah, yeah. Ogilvy I mean, is neat. It's neat. Come All see right. the lights. Anyway, many, real quick, how many people do you think come see the lights every year? Thousands. Yeah, thousands. I mean, hundreds why of do thousands. you know? Oh, I have no idea. No, it's oh, hundreds oh, of thousands. People yeah. come from Canada I, I, all over Nolt, the place. This is real quick. Nolt said, uh, our friend Nolt, who is very loyal, he works at Ogilvy forever. <laughs> um, he said that one time the traffic to the lights was all the way to Burger King on the island. Oh, oh I believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. No, I mean, it's been to the mall. Even. It's been past the mall before. Well, then how long oh, does it yeah. take you to Half get up Years ago, mall? absolutely. I thought about yep. it. This is what We I had thought. teams get stuck trying to come up. Listen, the, you remember yeah. that, Coach? Yeah. Coming yes. up to West yes. Liberty for games? Yes. They'd call and say, we can't make it. We're, we're in St. Clairsville. There's traffic for the lights. Listen, I, this is what I thought you guys should have done back in the day. When you got your first got your driver's license, you should go to people and say, hey, listen. You're sitting in traffic. You're literally an hour away from the lights. I can take you. Yes. I can take you and get you to the lights in five minutes. And you take one of the other direct. Instead of going up 88, yeah. you take them up like Peter's go Run like or Peters. go 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 like uh, up Edgington Lane and up towards Wheeling Park uh, and shit, go that now, way. Now they, you mean they just follow you? Yeah, you say follow me. Oh, no. When I get you there, you give me ten bucks, and I'm going to save you an hour and a half. And and if you want to do it, fine. If you don't, fine. I'll go to the next guy. Uh-huh. And would you would you as a driver sitting in that, and a guy come up to you? I'd and give said, you fifty right there. I, a guy <laughs> came up and said, "You listen. I'm telling you, you're an hour and a half away. I can get you there in five minutes, but it costs you ten bucks." No. Well, no, I would do that. Uh, sorry, I was thinking in my head. No, never would I. Would wait. you do that, Chris? You're sitting in line, know. and I hate traffic. I do. Yeah, right. right. And I, and a guy and a kid says, "Hey, listen, I've lived here my whole life. I know every back road here. I'm going to get you to the lights in five minutes, but it's going to cost you ten bucks." Would you yeah, guys I would do, do it? it. Yeah, but it should cost more than that. Okay, twenty yeah. bucks. Say 50. twenty. Jeez. 25. I bet you some of those people that are that far back never see it because they turn the lights off at 11. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you said it was you, back that far. You get like six they, guys. All you guys, you're all in a car. You just pick up, pick guys and say, hey, listen, follow me. We're going up. I got a way to get you there in 10 minutes, five minutes. Yeah, I would do it. And then say 40 bucks. You guys could have you yeah. could have kept going and doing it all night. You could have made like thousands of dollars. Think about doing that, starting a business. I hate driving. Hey. All right. well, I know, well, and you might not be able to find your way up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Coolie, I'm in Wellsburg. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's no lights here. He peeled off. Yeah, he peeled off. Like, like, Damn, I've been following this guy for two hours. He peeled off and speed away. <laughs> the lights at that. Uh, what's that factory in? in- well, or in uh, Fallensby, or yeah, yeah. Fallensby Beach Weird. steel plant. Cool to get like yeah. the Windsor Heights and ask somebody, "How do you get to the lights?" <laughs> <in Oakley?" laughs> That'd be a mess. Uh, all right, here's some more uh, from Dylan. He says, "For sure, Virginia Beach. I only paid about three hundred dollars more to go to Aruba for a week." Mm. Virginia it's a good Beach point. Isn't that great. It's a good point. I, I've been to Virginia, Virginia Beach. Beach. The water was horribly cold, but other than I didn't that, think it was I that bad. It's, it's, it's not. I mean, it's nice, but it's not great. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like this next one. Here we go from Isaac. Uh, he says uh, Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
See, yeah. that's what I like. Give us more answers like yeah. that. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, that's what my list That's like. what I, yes. I think what I'm going to change that? mine to North Korea. Yeah. 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 Go there you go. Bay. Wait, go. are you talking about uh, Are you talking about destinations that you've been? Actually, no. no this is uh, worst the, vacation where's spot. The wor- where's the worst place to go on vacation? He says Guantanamo yeah, Bay. But how would that's you know if, you're, if you haven't been if there? You're right, that's what I don't you probably, know. How you know if you haven't been oh, there? Oh, you've heard Guantanamo Bay is a nice yeah. place to well, go? It actually is beautiful outside of there. <laughs> really? No, well, I I could be wrong about this story, but I'm pretty sure one of my brother's friends that was in the military was based there. He said it was really awesome. Obviously, the... Inside, let me not, look up. Let me look. Like, if you're Cuba, it's been on the water. Yeah, I mean, I'm right. saying for as far as <laughs> it, it, it the scenery, yeah. fishing. But beauty. is he saying the area, no, not, not, or is yes, he saying the, the prison? No, not the prison. Well, that, I don't know about Jared Scott, but that's not what I'm referring to. The actual prison. Nine eleven bombers in there. Yeah, that'd be. Geez, I mean, great place to go. I'm looking. I looked up Guantanamo Bay, and the first forty pictures to show up. Well, yeah, just, that's a sensitive yeah, topic, well, Job. Yeah. Obama's was supposed to have closed that I think that Job needs to. Job, Job's wrong on his. I one. need to go to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, go. All right. All right, what do you got next? All right, next one. Emily, she says, Myrtle Beach. Yes. Water nasty, food overpriced, beach crowded, city dirty. Worst beach, <laughs> worst <laughs> beach on yes, the East Coast absolutely. without a question. I'd say for me, Myrtle Never Beach. Never gone better. even but close. If you go north of Myrtle Beach, like to Sunset Beach. Or yeah, the those water. smaller yeah, beaches yeah, outside smaller of it are beautiful. Are yeah, really yes. nice. Myrtle, Myrtle Beach, itself it's... is overpopulated garbage. Yes. Just a trashy town. Corn. <laughs> uh, all right. Corn. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chad, he says Hell. Oh, well, I mean, that, pretty I, good doing that. That's I pretty hope good. None of us go there. I, I, no, there's a good I, chance. I, I Wait, if you, it, it, you can speak really, for yourself. You could, no, I am. You I can am. vacation there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not it's really permanent, sure. Once right? you go, I you don't come back. Right. That's wow. the problem. It's like right. the Hotel California. Yes. <laughs> Great line. All right. Uh, well, my good friends, Ian, he says, uh, <laughs> New Mexico is a shithole. <laughs> Dro- <laughs> drove through it on my way to the hilltop a few summers ago. Ouch. I don't really well, I guess know where you. All of New Mexico. I don't really know where you'd vacation Jeez, in New, New Mexico. Mexico. Santa Fe, Albuquerque. Seems like a beautiful yeah. place. Yeah. I've been to the, I don't some know of the worst beautiful. food I've ever had. You've been really? to New Mexico? Yeah, Rodney said I was the first vacation he's ever lost weight on. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was so bad. <laughs> That's a good Even one. the KFC sucked. <laughs> the Lobos. <laughs> yeah, Lobos, yeah. What conference are they in? What? Uh, Big West. Big West? Or, no, uh, Mountain West. Maybe. What's New Mexico State's nickname? Uh, Aggies. Yeah, Aggies, Aggies that's Aggies. right. <clears throat> and, uh, New Mexico is from, uh, they got a bucko from there. <laughs> great oh, who? Nick great trivia. It's coming. The Nick time's Gonzalez. coming. Well, great he, trivia. Does he play for the Pirates? Well, I know. He's, I, a, no. I he's in the future, yeah, he's coach. He's in the future. Any, oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Shortstop. Yeah, that's second right. baseman. Yeah. We're oh, on the way. Winfield. Anyway. On the way. Woo-hoo. All right. Uh, <laughs> S- <laughs> yeah, go Bucks. Yeah. Anyway, S- <laughs> SB Hughes says... <laughs> Anywhere in New Crazy. Jersey. Oh, he's yeah. right yeah. on there. Yeah. Yes. There's some of the nastiest people in the world live in New Listen, Jersey. I, Total we to, dicks. We, we went to New York that, after that. I, I I did not. I never have a yeah, wish to ever City. go back to New Jersey. Jersey's a whole different Nothing breed, for me. Man. Nothing. I enjoy that. I enjoy some of New Rodney, Jersey. The Rodney people. said everybody in New Jersey looks like a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. He's not really said wrong. That? Yeah. They look like a meatball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, real quick. So, are you? Is that the last no, one? La- last one. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to give you my one, list. This one, I don't really even think you can consider this vacation. Uh, Noltz, that who we talked about previously, says Kennywood is the most overrated place in our area. <laughs> All right, I, I guess no. that's a vacation. Well, I really spot. don't think you vacation to Kennywood. Yeah, you place. could. You, you could go to that, that 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 place. Hell, that's that's where uh, that's where my sister Kim <laughs> and I went on vacation every year. And we were ecstatic if we got a motel with a pool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. It was unbelievable. Well, now well, look at our truth. world. Yeah. Oh, my God. We, my mom and dad would pack up in that station wagon and head to Kennywood in a pirate game. And if we had a motel with a pool, we honestly. Why, why do you always say motel? That's what they you know, no, a mototel is a motor hotel where you pull up to the door. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it was. That's what yeah, but were. you call everywhere a motel. You well, call Holiday Inn a, yeah. a motel. I grew up like the Holiday Inn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you call always, Hilton a motel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we Hilton always motel. entered from the outside a motel. Like oh, on a, very like a no, no Country for Old Men? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psycho. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, here, real quick. You got a list? Go well, ahead, I man. was just going to say the the top five worst states to uh, vacation in. Number five, North Dakota. 
Uh, oh, Jesus. It That'd says another state. It's cold might, every day. It's probably cold there right now. Said you might mo- might find yourself bored just a day or two into your vacation. <laughs> Pennsylvania, number Jeez. four. Yeah, also, I, numbers I, among the I, worst states to choose a vacation destination. Yeah, they're not wrong. Hershey I, Park. I, 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 I got agree with that. It says the state proves very expensive to visit. Terrible state. To go to number the three, game. Mississippi. Mississippi yeah. lands a top three. Uh, National champion. Go baseball. Rebels. Yeah, go it Rebels. It says it's incredibly affordable to visit. Uh, yeah. Nonetheless, the positives end there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they got casinos. Number two, Rhode Island. Uh, Rhode Island's uh, that take bad. second place. Uh, New England states one of the most expensive states for travel or visit. Wait, that's number two. That's, that's number right, two. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let us right. guess Catch. number one. Guess number wait, one. Wait, let us guess number one. Number one, Chris. Uh, no, number, number one. Wait, wait. Uh, number one. What? Worst vacation spots. Vacation it, state. state. Vacation. Is, state? is it a city or state? It's a state. state. I know one hundred percent. It's got to be somewhere in the middle of the country. Right. We'll go down. I was going to say. I got my pick. I got mine. In the middle of the country. I'll I'll say it's not. Uh, I got mine. It's not in it's the middle. It's not of the in the middle of the country. Arizona. No, God, no way. Not Arizona. What you, Jeez, that's got to be. What do you? Nebraska. Think? Okay, no, just, got, that's right. it. I'm Chris sorry. with Wait, Nebraska. You said, you said it's not in the middle of the country. Not in the middle. Not of the in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna say it's just boring. Let me think. Oh, geez. Uh, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I got mine. No doubt. Oh, geez. Uh, you no doubter? Oh, I thought. Oh, I wait. Mine. Is it the right answer? I'm close. I'm gonna say Washington. Matt? Well, I was going to say Iowa, specifically Des Moines, but no, I'm going to go with Alabama. Jarrett? Ohio. <laughs> oh. yeah, well, <laughs> no doubt. You're not Holy, wrong about that. Uh, Vermont. Yeah, actually, Jarrett, the it was number too, one. too obvious, Ohio. Worst state to visit. The very worst state uh, to choose as a trip. Hey, West Virginia. Who, who's the closest? Uh, who's the Geographically? Closest? Geographically, yeah. it would be, what would you say? Nebraska? Yeah. You said, uh, I said, you said uh, Washington. I bet I know what it you is. Say? Uh, Iowa. Iowa. I, well, and no, actually, Ohio. Prob- Ohio is probably closest. All Midwestern. Ohio is probably close. Yeah. What is it? Well, Ohio is very closest. Is. Number one, the very worst state to choose as a road trip destination, Connecticut. Wallet Hub uh, warns that this state is one of the most expensive or trapped at visit. The public publication uh, also assigned the state. Uh, I, I like I like Connecticut. It's it is expensive, but. They got some nice stuff. Up there. Are they oh, just basing Gino it on that, there. though? I don't know. It says national it, champs. You Chris, we been, had uh, some good times in New Haven. I know it's a crazy, wacky. Oh town, yeah, it was really great. Fun. Hey, what about really when fun. the Whalers were there? Yeah, yeah. we're just yeah, we passed the, through Hartford. Yeah, they had a Hartford, great they song. They played in a mall in the yeah. bottom of a mall. Yeah, <laughs> well, a shopping mall in Providence. At least or in um, uh, Hartford. Let's see here. It says the no- oh, see on this list we're at number f- we're at number six for the worst place to visit. Number one is Florida. Wait, or, or number best? one is the best to oh, visit best. is Florida. Wait, what are I we? Six, six, is worst, six is the worst. Six is the worst. Six is the worst. We're the sixth worst state. Yeah. State? Oh boy. Yeah. Alabama's got to be worse. Florida than us. takes number one. California yeah, a lot two. Of good things in our state. Hawaii number three. Alaska number four. Depends on what you're looking for. Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii yes. Texas number five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys <laughs> they they have Texas. I, I, listen, Texas one, is... one, two, and five, I give thumbs down. Three and four, yes. Uh, all right, Matt, you said you had your five. St- <laughs> I, I had this as my bottom five worst places to ever go on vacation. Like, can I ask you a yeah. question oh, real yeah. quick? Yeah. Now, you already this... know number one. <laughs> well, no, but is, is this just based on what you've experienced? No, I haven't been to any. Oh, no, I've been are to they one. Ra- one. Are they I've ranked? been to one of these. <laughs> uh, and, are I, they ranked? Yeah, they're ranked. Number five, Snake Island, Brazil. Okay, good you ever, one. You ever oh, seen yeah. that? On Snake oh, Island, snakes. you can't take a f- step without being on a snake. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would yeah, freak fine. me the fuck out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I Don't think help. it would Couldn't do it do anybody. Don't okay. tell Nick. Sue wouldn't have liked no, that. No, no. <laughs> number Nick. four, Caracas, Venezuela. Oh, yeah. Highest crime rate in the world. There you go. Yeah. Okay, number three, Juarez, Mexico. <laughs> Human trafficking capital <laughs> okay, of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. would be good. Number two, Mogadishu, Somalia. Okay, what what happens there? Pirates. Pirates. If you're Pirates, if you right? guys that look like us, skin tone, poof, we're gonna get gunned down real <laughs> oh, quick. Geez. I said, if, if, you're, if you're white Christian, there, you probably won't last the oh. twenty minutes. I said to say, I said, well, we're out on that on the on that fishing boat. We were two hours out, and I said, you know what? It's about our luck right now. Somali pirates yeah. will come yeah, over these waves they're right all, now. Oh, hor- horrible. Yeah, <laughs> it's a scary, scary place. Captain Phillips. Yes, exactly yeah. that kind. And then yeah. obviously number one. Well, we wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I'd take Snake <laughs> Island in a second. I'd like, come back to this. We're, 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 we're going to have to suspend it for a week. I out of the car on Sunday. I, I was sick to my stomach. I so really you was. would rather go to Snake Island Absolutely. than go to the Snake Club? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. I would. Exactly. I would. Oh, wow. My gosh. wow. So there's nowhere in a country like the Warwood Vets. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Where can I mean, you go on. see Champ eat oysters and clams? Uh, I'll like take that. him to Snake Island with me. He'll be eating the heads off them snakes. Yeah, he probably oh, would. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking up. Nick was talking about on the flight, or no, on the on one of the drives. Uh, what he said, the number one place he will never go in the world is Australia because they say they got they got like like giant spiders and snakes and do. all kinds of stuff. Got on the island of Tasmania. The number uh, ten, uh, Death Valley's the, the worst to visit. Skeleton Coast, Denakil Desert, mm. <laughs> Gates of Hell. <laughs> North Man. North Sentinel Island. That was huh. the one we talked about. Where you ever hear that? It's North Sentinel Island. No. Oh. These people. Where uh, is it? Uh, I can't. It's like off the coast. Of, I think Madagascar. It might be. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, That's where there's tribes. And, people. and they, they have never, never seen like real. Uh, they have never had contact oh, with the wait, outside did, world. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, yeah. we were gonna go do a podcast there. <laughs> I saw a Scary. special on that. That was like okay. in uh, East Ventura too. When he gets on an island with those. Pygmies or whatever they are. <laughs> they, Boy, they, is, is that when he is that when he uh, fights uh, Tommy Davidson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. and he goes yeah. inside that rhinoceros. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh god, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But hey, what I wanted to speak of, we're talking about locations. I saw in here uh, for auto ra- road America this week. What is that? Matt? That's a road course up in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. It's and just a road co- Yeah, it's been around for years, but uh, NASCAR just started going back to it. Is that, is oh, so that this a, is NASCAR? Is it, is it NASCAR race? Yeah. Is oh, that okay. a full uh, road course, or is it like... Uh, yeah, no, it's full road course. It's okay. all road course, yeah. Okay. Yep. It's been around for years, but in the Indy cars used to go there, and uh, the Xfinity series and now the Cup series is going back there. Chris, you like a road courses, don't you? Yeah. You but like not, Watkins, not those... You like Watkins. Watkins I like Glenn, the Sonoma right? one better, the one uh, out in California. Yeah. But it's been mad. It's not one of those ones they do like at no, a racetrack. No, not like the Roval, like the Charlotte one or yeah. the right. Daytona where so you're going on the real... Speedway. And it's the... Yeah, it's been around for years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, hey, be you good. think they're getting a little too gimmicky? <clears throat> I, yeah, I thought we said that before a couple years With ago. With the dirt this, at Bristol. Yes, uh, the, that's, dirt, that's, the dirt was horrible. It's, yeah. That's not necessary. That was, and those drivers, they're, it, it, it blurred their vi- not their, but their, their sight yeah. line. I well, mean, it was, now they know how the horses feel. Why why, <laughs> why, why they got rid of the, the small tracks like Rockingham and North Wilkes. Cash, Bell. right? Just because it Money. broke down. Yeah, somebody needs to buy those. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was trying to get involved. And buying those and restoring them. So there's hope. Oh, Your boy died the other day in NASCAR yeah, legend. Bruton, Bruton Smith. Yeah, I saw that. 95. I wanted to go to North dude. Wilkesboro. Oh, I thought that, that would have been cool. That would be amazing to go down yeah, there. I thought those yep. places were so cool. Hey, Chris, you know what I think would be cool to you know make it NASCAR interesting is if they did a, a course and it was a figure eight. And they crossed yeah. each other. Oh my gosh. And they crossed each other. <laughs> they had to go across. They had to go across, oh to go across. Yeah. on the same level. Going yes, ha- on the same going level. How fast? Well, I, 180. Fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> as fast as possible. If you get through, you get through it. Chris, Road America has 14 turns. I just oh, shit. What has the least amount of turns? An oval. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a circle would have even less. Man. Yeah. <laughs> or actually, that's kind of a trick question because you yeah. turn all the time. Yeah, you turn the whole way. Right. So just what one the hell turn. kind of question is that? Because <laughs> not no. I no, think he mo- mo- what specific track? Yeah, right? like what course. track? Like a drag race. What and track? They go straight. <laughs> Don't they go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, goddamn. Does what course? What course has well, the least amount of? Maybe they should. That would, turn. Turn. Maybe they should that would be the- funny though if they if they had like like Talladega instead of the regular cars have the drag. Dragsters race on that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. With that yeah. banking? Oh, God. Man, I tell you what. They should put us in hey, charge. Yeah. We could do a figure eight course. 300 miles an hour around turn some, two. Hey, they, they, should do a, they should do a figure eight course where, yeah. they, where they cross each other. You don't. It's not about who finishes first. It's about who can survive the longest. <laughs> yeah. Right, that, right. right. And then they should do a backwards race where you reverse <laughs> the whole time. I like that. You know, I always thought in the Olympics when they did those steeplechase <laughs> races, they should have like alligators and sharks in those pits where they jump over them. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, don't you think that would be cool? <laughs> Alligators and yeah, yeah, like you jump the thing. If a guy goes down in, he got to get away from the gator. Like, oh, I think that would be great. And there's a chance he could get mauled. <laughs> yeah, and that's never. That's co- like the Coliseum back wow. in the old, well, yeah, the Roman Coliseum. Yeah. What, what was really like what that. was the story back in the day? Speaking of NASCAR, who was a? It was a, maybe not a buddy of yours, but somebody you knew broke into the oh, Mungo. Yeah, Met, rode around Charlotte on a mini bike. On a <laughs> mini bike. Now you got to realize that those uh, 
Those banks are yeah, uh, Charlotte's probably like no, yeah. it's it's actually not super high bank, but twenty something degrees. 20, probably. Yeah, twenty some degrees. Nineteen degrees. Where maybe? That's you, cold. You literally ha- would, <laughs> yeah, going up would well, struggle more. to walk up. Well, well, you you probably couldn't. But the first well, that was in the, the first, turns in Charlotte, you couldn't. No, the, yeah. that was the very first race I went to. When he, when the race was over, and a lot of the crowd had left. They opened up this one gate, and back back then, you know, a lot of coolers just had those tops that would come right off. These people would go to the top of that banking and just sit on their coolers and just slide down that. It was it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, but then those guys, yeah, Mungo and somebody else got in there and. Uh, well, Terry Pugh or not Terry Pugh? Uh, he took a Chevy Caprice. Twenty four degree banking in the turns, five degree Terry, in the straights. S- Terry Slager. Terry yeah, Slager. yeah, Terry. Yeah, he took man. his car and drove. They around. said, "I don't so just go down hold, this hold, way." And he brought on. his. They thought the car, car was going to so, tip yeah, over. And, and then Mungo the, went in, and they they call, they went around they a couple up, times. Yeah. They impounded his yeah, they, bike, that, and right. we had to go took get the get bike. We had to go get it. So hold on, he got all skinned up. How did he get in? The gate just happened to be open, and we were back in those. They just didn't check it. Yeah, that was like in the and it was early nineties. And a mini bike. We took the mini bike with us. Yeah, why did you have a mini bike to go around the campground? Yeah, to go around the campground. Just, uh, you know, zoom around. Camp. Everybody would take turns just going around, seeing people and doing funny stuff on the, on the mini bike. But he found a way to get in, and he went around. I think he made it around twice, and then they caught him and impounded the bike. We had to go in the morning and <laughs> get to They the impounded the bike. Yeah, How did he get all skinned up? Well, he, he went on a banking, and, and he, he and he, trying to keep his balance. Yeah, and, I he, and I think the bike went over, and he because you have to be going fast to keep right, up, right, or you'll right, fall, you'll right, roll you'll inertia. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think he exactly. made it around the first time. But anyway, yeah. that was another <laughs> that was another great story, a NASCAR story. Yeah, nah. well. Uh, yeah, so we got Road America. And by the this way, week. Job, tell anybody if they're seeing uh, a, a bad background here. There's construction. Construction, construction. yeah, construction yeah. going we on. We should have a road sign. Hey Jared, one uh, one other thing on to add to a, a, a race like that, and you said is how about like on a on a nice long straightaway a ramp? Like <laughs> yeah, the, you, go, you just hit it. <laughs> just go on, like, like 190, like, you hit a ramp. It's like motocross. Oh, yeah, Chris. motor exactly. Yeah, like like motocross. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be, that, I would. That watch. would make people watch. And job, mm-hmm. I think we're gonna you're gonna do a uh, you're gonna do a. Um, Film of the pine room so that people can see really what. Oh, well, yeah, doing. when it's up in full form. When yeah. we get it all cleaned up, a get it all ready. Documentary behind once the it, scenes. Once yeah. the construction's <laughs> yes. done. We're hiding David Attenborough. It's like in the here. band, yeah, hey, like you'll see Champ doing a line of cocaine <laughs> off of a Maybe, maybe we something. should do a pine room documentary. Like, <laughs> like have behind people, the scenes. Uh, have people sit down, interviews, like in a dark room with a light on them, like, <laughs> yeah. like a series. Yeah, we're doing some upgrades. We're doing some, we're building a new walkway. We're, you know, we're building a new fire pit. Oh, you can't. You can yeah, don't give away yeah, all the. Don't give all the way to. Well, the it's not like we're. Can I ask you a question, though, out. Coach? Because I, I, I know uh, up here it says fifty nine days till oh, college football, oh. and uh, you're excited. But oh. for opening day here, I'm not give naming names or anything. But do we have the national anthem singer lined up for this? Are you talking about for week zero or week one? Week week one. I guess I mean, it doesn't matter. Well, whenever whatever week it is, right? I, but sure he'll have to check his check his calendar. Right, just definitely. Say, right, oh, he's a busy man. Yeah, but, or, I mean, yeah. you think you? I mean, yes, it'll be able to work and, out for that he, particular singer. Yes, and he he told me uh, this past weekend that if there is a Canadian team playing, he is brushing up on the Canadian national anthem, so he will be ready for both. To, Are to we? Uh, it, 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 it was, Gray I mean, Cup play, final, like the yeah, University like of Toronto. <laughs> I, mean, who, who, yeah, I don't well, know when that would apply in, case, in college. In but, case there is, but a didn't Canadian. he? I thought I heard you ask that. Did he? Did he tell you though he didn't know the lyrics? He said, I, I thought he said, I don't know. And he shakes his head and he says, nah, I got to work on that. Okay. That's <laughs> hey, what I thought hey, he are said. we going to have a, uh, are we going to have a first, uh, role for Bocce too? Are we going to have another guest like uh, we did last year? Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's good. We had a works. huge. Was that Bocce tournament in week one last, yes. last year? Well, opening I day. On, that was on the, uh, the golf screen. The Olympics. That was day of the golf the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, so that, that was, uh, that was NFL. Well, you guys okay. had to be exhausted that day. Yeah. yeah. That oh, was a long gruel- day. Grueling. Who won? Well, you know what, too, Matt? Seriously, we, we, I was. Golf. And uh, and and Bocce. was worried who, about big, George that who day. Who won the Bocce? Because it was tired. really hot, yeah. and and you know he was facing. That well, I know the I know day. Rodney and tired. Jeff won the golf, and then uh, did you guys win the Bocce? Oh, you know it, Coach. Oh, well, we did, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, Jerry yeah. Cooley won yeah. the Bocce. We did you're win the, Bocce. You're defending I, champs. Yeah, because we had, yeah, I remember that. you guys. What would we play to? Fifteen or eleven? But anyway, yeah. we had a huge lead on you, Ace and myself, and we fucking blew it. And I was so pissed. <laughs> Chris hasn't slept since. No, I, hey, geez. this year 
Say and I will be out of last place in golf. No, we zero will be out of last chance. place. No way. I hear you, I hear you guys both yes, have a really will. nice touch when you yes, throw. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> with, 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 with no, Bocci. No, no, uh, golf. Golf. No, I, golf. Yeah, well, no, I thought you guys said they throw it so hard it like bangs off the back. Oh, of yeah. Oh, Say yeah, and I, yeah. we got no, we're Nick's, brutes. But yeah, we're brutes. Nick's like Lenny from uh, my, of Mice and Men. He, can't, he has no touch. He just throws it as hard as he can. Yeah, but Say and I will be out of last place. In golf? Yes. We will be out of last place. We almost did it last year. Year by a stroke. No, we no. almost did. Who, 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 say, ta- say takes a step when he golfs, like he's batting. He literally <laughs> takes a step. Who, who, who would who, like who would he's challenge? Like he's stepping into he's it. like for, for last Who would challenge from I mean, last? Based on last year, oh, I think Nick. Nick was Nick might have been it? Nick and Luke. Yeah, oh. Nick and Luke might have well, been Brad might close to us. Well, we, Brad, I mean, last year was we were like seven strokes better than the year before, but. Uh, Right. I still, yeah. I still just remember that his first tee shot on one, <laughs> on number one at Jesus, par- and he hit it good, but it went like two hundred and forty yards. <laughs> and, and how far is the pin? Par- like Eighty-two it, it, yards? No, not it's like fifty-five <laughs> yards. <laughs> wow. just, even if he just tap it, it roll down the hill. Oh my God. By the way, for anybody that doesn't know, where we do a par three scram- no, scr- yeah, scramble, yeah. right before yeah. golf scramble before opening day of the Pine Room. So that's what we're. That's what we're talking that's about. That's usually a NFL. Sunday. Usually, yeah, I, think, be, I think we need to move that. That'd be the third week of college. He, I think he's we not going to want to do it on a Saturday. I think no. we well, <laughs> I, I think Sunday we lose, gives an extra hour. Yeah, no, I think we lose a lot of the. the right, we'll debate this later. Yeah, we yeah, lose we'll a, lot, yeah, yeah, but, a lot of our fan base. Yeah. I think we'll, yeah, well, this is this is for behind the scenes, yeah, but yeah. Um, it's, it's, yeah. this 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 needs a big a big meeting with our yeah uh, at the exact our attention right yeah. yeah yeah this yeah, is yeah, a big yeah. huge decision yeah. yeah uh cools this week big card oh UFC yeah yeah I like it it's yeah. gonna be nuts Odyssey, you guys you, gonna uh, have some picks for us yes for Friday yes yes my lock of the uh, the absolute my probably my biggest lock I think of in my life oh jeez uh, oh, biggest my lock of, wow. of my life uh, I hope this turns out better than Rose did that uh, night yeah, yeah, geez. yeah she did not she didn't do well that was a shitty fight <laughs> I, anyway I don't know it's a bad luck. Uh, Alexander Volkanovsky in the featherweight uh, that's the co-main event yeah. Alexander Volkanovsky against Max Holloway that's gonna uh, be a good one throw your throw your mortgage on uh, Alexander yeah. Volkanovsky well, who Who's the favorite? Probably Volkanovski. Volkanovski. I mean, is he, he a big already, favorite? Yeah. Probably, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, they, I fought, they fought Let's twice already, and he's won both. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll so, be a good I think this fight will go to distance, though. That's, that was going to no. be my method is that of victory. The main, is that the main event? Co-main. Co-main. Yeah. So what, that'll be what, to, like 11.30? That'll be at 10 yeah, p.m. Is that, a, is that a pay-per-view? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Where, Ten, are, we, where uh, are we watching Volkanovski minus 195. Yes. Yeah, 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 $2 favorite. Yeah. I think Volk goes the distance with the win. No, I think he got – They have fought, they fought twice. They've gone the distance every time. And Adesanya's minus 390. Yeah. Is he going to fuck that guy up? kick that dude so hard in the head. I don't really know that guy. Is he – I don't really recognize the you name. You got uh you got big money on the bantamweight. Uh that's that's the uh the ten PM fight at on uh Sean O'Malley. Yeah, oh, against yeah. Pedro. Sean O'Malley's yeah. a stud, man. Yeah. He's I didn't he's realize minus, he's six six. He's huge. Yeah. He's minus two sixty. Yeah, right he's a now, stud. So. He he does not miss any punches. He's a well, so you guys will be uh, releasing your official play Friday. Friday. Yeah. Friday. Look for those picks. Follow us on out. Instagram. Any, uh, the ten forty five uh Fight the Strickland against Pereira. That's a that's a pretty close one. Yeah, Strickland Mr. plus one hundred. Uh, Pereira minus one twenty. Yeah. You like anyone there? John, nah. you know what? I can't believe you don't think it's going to go to distance when the last two fights have gone to distance. That's that's right. Third time's a charm. I, maybe. Hey, cools. I wanted to ask you about uh, NBA draft the other night. I know you guys were on vacation. Yeah. Were, were you guys gone then? Yeah, no? yeah, we were. Yeah, we were okay. Oh, he said he doesn't so, like the draft. No, I know, but I, I just what what do you think? Of, did you were you aware of all that of all that craziness about? Uh, Wojnarowski giving out the, the the other guy to be the pick, and the, yeah, the book's it, not adjusting, it, and mm-hmm. all these pro betters came in and just picked off oh, Banchero yeah. to go number one. W- Wojnarowski was wrong, yeah. and the books backed him instead of yeah. trusting the people that were betting, mm-hmm. and they they fucked themselves. Yeah, a lot of books Jabari got buried. Smith was going yes, first. yes. Yeah, was, was yeah, yeah, he ended up going third, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he went third. Was he it, went third. Was it, so did the favorite. Go first? No, no, no. The guy, the guy, Banchero ended up going. He was plus a sixteen dollar. Mm. He was sixteen yeah. to one to go first. Wow! And 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 people kept betting him, 
And the books, most of them went with Rojnarowski, who kept saying Smith. Smith Is that his name? Jabari yeah, Smith? Yeah, Jabari, Jabari yeah. Smith, first, first, first. So Jabari Smith was a minus 10,000 to go first, and he didn't. He went third. Yeah, oh, wow. he went yeah, third. It was, I mean, there was pro guys that had inside scoop. Yeah. Very similar to when your boy Brady went to the Bucks. People started seeing crazy weird money going on the Bucks, and no one could mm-hmm. figure it out. And it was too late by the time they did. Everything of betting is so sketchy. Yeah, well, with right. that kind I of stuff, think. listen, yeah. well, <laughs> the thing about it, games, it's hard to impact. The officials can have impacts and things like that, but you have so many more variables that you'd have to take care of in a game. Mm-hmm. In a situation like this, it's yay or nay on a guy, and you could definitely exploit it. If you get inside info, somebody oh, yeah. told Banchero's brother, hey, they're going to take him. Well, travels, a couple guys tell each other. I mean, you can... You could really do some damage, and bookmakers hate be- uh, putting those drafts up. Like that's something you yeah. don't want to have to do. Yeah. But you, it, the demand they is there, to. and they and they hate it. Like it, they get beat up on it. NFL yeah. beats them up, and then this NBA. Was Did they lose crazy. money on this? Most one? books got crushed. Did they? Yeah. Okay. But pros, pros came in and and got Banchero, and and they had the inside. They beat the books to the information. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what though. I don't feel so. No, no, you shouldn't. Oh, no. You shouldn't. Because guess what? No, they're going to get it all back. They'll get yeah. us back. No, the pro, the, they get mad though when the pros beat them. Because yeah. that's hey, Chris, you know what you got to do? We got to mm. we got to all ha- we got to talk bad beats. Let's we're going to talk bad beats and w- how we think things are fixed. Sometime down. Oh down yeah, yeah. And hey. Matt, Matt could. Well, you Matt, guys Matt could give yeah. us a couple of good ones like that. They're just just unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you couldn't make it up. Mm. You couldn't draw it up to to the hey, things how that about happen. how about good beats like lucky beats? I was telling They're you about. Way less well, than well there's guys, guys well, on about, the other yeah, side. There's gotta those. be guys on the yeah. same well, other yeah. side. They're this usually what, not as many. I tell you what, Nick. What Nick's bet? Oh uh, yeah, you told me real, that. Real quick, that, this is that what, was a good one. Nick over, you hear the, this week, one? over the week. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. So we couldn't bet when we were in in Antigua and obviously. Surprised you guys didn't find a shop down there. They have a bunch of them. I'm pretty sure they really? have offshores. Yeah, they all what? operate out of Antigua. Figure they have something that's yeah. a standing yeah, they might have. Well, there's a casino. Um, but anyway, Nick had uh, one of his buddies uh, placing some bets for him, and he put in a a ten leg player hit for MLB parlay. Right. So um, Nick had had he had I think he had nine of the ten in, except Francisco Lindor. No, he had eight. You said, or he had eight of the ten in. Except Francisco Lindor and Trey Turner, but so Lindor goes zero for five, but Nick's buddy f- overlooked Lindor and didn't put him in. Oh, so yeah, so, yeah, so, so then so then it's then it's eight of nine, and all he has left is Trey Turner in the Sunday night baseball oh, game. Geez. Uh, Trey Remember Turner. How this game went? So, so uh, Trey Turner's not really. It was two nothing, <laughs> right? Two nothing in the bottom of the, to, to the, the ninth. or top Bra- of the ninth. Braves were right, right. Braves no, were I remember with, that yeah. with two outs in the bottom of the ninth on a one two count. And Trey Turner's zero for five. Trey Turner's zero for five. So game, I mean, over. Trey could have been zero for five. He had to be on a two no, nothing game. Not he was maybe 0 for 4. Okay. He was 0 for yeah. 4. He probably, no, he was he, 0 for 4 at that point. Right. So he at the top of the lineup. Yeah, right? so he's yeah. at 0 for 4 so at that point in the top of the ninth. They're down 2 nothing with two outs. 0-2 count on Trace Thompson, who's hitting 67. 0-67, he's hitting. Trace Thompson gets a hit. They tie the game. They go to the 10th. Trey Turner is up. He then get then he goes uh, 0 for. He, he was 0 for 5. He didn't get a hit the next inning. Mm-hmm. And then it went to the 11th. And uh, in his sixth at bat, Trey Turner ended up getting a hit, and he hit for like a lot of money in a nine leg parlay. That usually doesn't happen. No. The only thing that could have made that story more interesting is if you said he reached on a questionable uh, uh, yeah, ruling, I I and they said I, it was an error, they, but then they oh, changed yeah, it to a hit. That 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 would have been. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what say. the hit was. I'm not sure yeah. what the, what his hit was, but yeah. yeah that, usually that shit works against you. Yeah. yeah extra innings, and you got the under. Well, and the fact that, that his buddy slam. his buddy didn't put in the guy that yeah, didn't have the hit. Incredible. Well, well Nick, and, he, hopefully he bought his friend something. Yeah, I think, Jared, he, I think he did. And then did you say that the, the the one guy that got a hit was batting 067? He was 067. Was there two outs? Or do you know? Two, uh, so you o- figure two, he's not going to get a hit, right? O2 count with two outs in the top of the ninth. It, so he's going to be an easy out. It was Clay Thompson's brother, Trace Thompson. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we we got we to gotta talk ah, bad. That's Let's crazy. talk bad beats one day, Matt. Yeah. We'll talk bad okay. beats. Yeah, and, yeah, I got so many. I'm yeah, going to try to forget them. Just tra- <laughs> <laughs> also, you're yeah, on the bad end of most. Well, time. even even some of them that I'm not, that it still makes me nauseous to read about them Actually, or see them. And, some and, of these NBA ones and some of the college basketballs are uh, unbelievable. Yeah. It-
It's this week in history. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we're doing this week in history and hot bit cold bug, maybe to be renamed, maybe not. Brought to you by Vocelli Pizza. Uh, go down and see them in the four locations that are uh, nearest to us, which are here, Moundsville, Steubenville, and uh, one uh. more. <laughs> <laughs> that's wow. that's Sorry. not yeah, it. The, but Washington, PA. Washington, PA. Go see him. Uh, go, see him. <laughs> go see him. Go see him. Just eat some Vicelli's go pizza. Go see pizza. Is really yeah. good. Oh, Sorry, it is really, really good. Extremely good. Go see Vicelli himself. Uh, he's he, he'll be uh, dealing out some uh, pies and some other stuff. Uh, go get their uh, Vicelli rolls, which are great. Uh, we're gonna put a little thing out here. Nick did a little. Uh, I did a little thing, a little snippet with Nick. Uh, you'll see that uh, in the break of the show. You actually probably saw it last week. Uh, if you watch the video, but if not, uh, you'll see it on social media and in the breaks of the show on this episode. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this week in history brought to you by Vocelli Pizza. Go down and get some pizza, some pie, some whatever, whatever you want. Cannolis are great too. Get some cannolis. Delicious. I'm going to start us off because I, I I see something that I really and it's like. not Vocelli's. It's, it's Vocelli pizza. Vocelli pizza. pizza. No S. Yes. No All right, so. On June, wait, where are we at here? On June 30th, 1559, Henry II of France seriously injured in jousting match against Gabriel de Montgomery. You ever seen a jousting, jousting yeah. match? Oh, not live, but... <laughs> I would yeah, love no, to see a jousting. Ja- you never seen do one? that? At, um, there was a no. There was a show. Medieval uh, times. Yeah, yeah. Medieval times. Yeah, I have been to that. Yeah, but that's all fake. No, I, so I have really Does been Mr. to a jousting. Does Mr. Schultz joust? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, he does. He does uh, that. So those guys do medieval battle reenactments. He does that There's guys at West Liberty and that. Bleep his bleep his name. I'll buzz it. Name I'll out, buzz but, it. But yes, I'll he, buzz I think it. they do. Another they, censor. He does, he does LARP. Live Not, action role playing. Oh, LARP. Well, he, no, he just blur out his name. Well, okay, okay. Well, anyway, we'll uh, buzz it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, speaking of Jostin, was that be a good idea for NASCAR, right? Oh, oh Joust, that's, that's really good, good. Chris. That's, that's really good. good. <laughs> Wait, what's that called? You lean they, out the car in the first night. What's that called when they, the horse is running? Yeah, jousting. jousting. That jousting? jousting. That's jousting. Yeah. Oh, they stick them pole arms into their <laughs> Wait, chest. Yeah. Are you thinking about fencing? Yeah, I was yeah. no fencing. jousting when they're oh, on the horses. Yeah, but oh, nobody okay. gets hurt in fencing, so it's yeah, not yeah, fun. You're good. Oh, oh well, you, get, you could get punctured in the epiglottis. Oh, Uh-oh. okay. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. hold on. We Uh-oh. may have to take a. Quick... We're gonna take a break here. Uh, right now, yeah. yeah. Henry the Second just got knocked <laughs> off. <laughs> <his> <laughs> <horse>. <laughs> <laughs> Clear Clearview Fire Department is responding. Right on Jeez, They're on the Matt, is that considered time. an upset, you think, Henry II? Well, those kings in those times, they all wanted to show off, you know, for their wives and mistresses. So they get mounted on the horse. A lot of them were unathletic, didn't know what they were doing. And what was his name? Montgomery? Yeah, yeah he, Gabriel. Montgomery might have been the top Montgomery. draft pick in the jousting hey, uh, yeah. hey, do you know series what the si- that year. You know what the siren, I think, was for? Uh, where'd it go? Oh, July 1st, 1863, the Battle of Getty- Gettysburg begins. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Maybe that's what just happened. Bloody, oh, wow. a bloody mess. I was going to oh, bring wow. that one up. I'd love to go there. Fascinating uh, place to visit. Gettysburg. Really cool. Yeah. It's a I'd very, like, very neat place I'd to I'd like go. to get Pete Chocolates on here one time and talk about the Civil War. He, he's, you th- oh, I'd love that. You think he's, I absolutely. thoroughly enjoy he's that. An, you think he, there's ghosts a, at Gettysburg? Absolutely. Gettysburg. Gettysburg. <laughs> is Gettysburg? Or is where Getty, no, Gettysburg's, <laughs> Gettysburg's an Ogilvy. It's definitely something every American should go visit. Some of those Civil War battlefields, even if it's not Gettysburg. Yeah. So Antietam. Who, or what, any who's what? Out, where? Out in the Midwest. Ghost. Yeah, I guess there's what ghosts haunting. of Gettysburg. I mean, I Pete, think. You mean, just think, about looking at the battlefield, how big it is when you get there, and seeing how many bodies were yeah. actually laying on it is, is hard to even imagine in now, your mind. Now, well, I was going to ask you. <laughs> what? Never mind. I was asking Matt oh, a question. Boy. Go ahead. Chris. No, I was just going to wonder, like, it, did, did those ghosts, did they get a ride with the aliens that you always Maybe. talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, wasn't the, that, did, that wasn't the response I wanted. Well, was the Get- was Gettysburg. <laughs> you know what it is. It's always. Was Gettysburg, they weren't in guerrilla war. They were still in. in no, they were in, like, organized like line, combat. Like, I, I, just, yeah. I cannot believe that was a real thing. Oh, it, what, they just what, pulled up two lines, right? right? Yeah, said, hey, so, hey, and you're the front shoot. row, and we're all shooting right here, and at least two or three of us are going to die. Oh, yeah, not yeah. Even, that was yeah. called civilized yeah. combat. What, were yeah. they ever, like, were they allowed to duck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, you, you, I mean, I'm assuming but who's something. Gonna, I mean, in your natural instincts, who, you would But be, who, who's going to tell them not to? 
Not well, not. I mean, at that point, yeah. To not dock her. Well, basically, be- you're firing one time, and then you're, you're, you're reloading, and you're sitting there just waiting to be shot. The be- and then if they God, do say to terrible. march or like to uh, proceed, then you, you can go with your bayonet. Wonder how far you're, away you're, from each other they they couldn't have been more than twenty yards. Nah, I mean, not not far. I mean, say good fifty yards. Or less. They can see the whites Shoot of their eyes. Yeah, the whites of their eyes. <laughs> I'm not yeah, sure that was that was that was Lexington and was Concord, that? wasn't it? What movie was that? Glory with with Freeman? No, I think Chris would agree with it. it yeah, on Massachusetts. The Three Stooges. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's that? It was on the Three Stooges. Which one? Hey, what? Shoot at Will. Oh, which one's Will? Who's Will? Which one's Will? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a, a I, I will Boy, say, I, Talking about the paranormal, I, I will say I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in, in any of that. But the most convincing video I've ever seen was the one at Gettysburg. Have you ever seen that video? Yeah. The one where they show the, the yep. ghost in the tree line. That's the it's, only thing that I've it, ever it's seen. It's eerie. It makes me get chills thinking about it. O- yeah. Only thing I've ever seen that I kind of like yeah. said, okay, that, 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 you know, looks convincing. Do you believe in demonic possession? Yeah, like uh, <laughs> I know I listened last week and I wanted to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, um, because I do uh, think that is real. Lizzie Borden. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wish a ghost would come and tell, give me a couple winners on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for that. I mean, ghost. They can see into the future. Yeah, right? how? Oh, now he now the ghost can see in the future. I don't future? know. I mean, yeah. hell, never who works knows? in our favor. Yeah, right. All right, cool. Hey, I, what I, else we got? I think that uh, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, 1901. Getting away with forty grand that's in nineteen. That's a yep. shit ton of I money. I looked at that too. I was like, I thought it was that, gonna be four thousand. That, that that's got to be like millions. Yeah. Back no, then. You, well, yeah, I looked that up. Oh, it, when it, you did it, John it was, Dillinger one, and then John Dillinger got ten thousand right. dollars. Uh, it was uh, it was almost one point four million. Yeah. Today's yeah. that's a lot. I, that's forty a hell grand of a score. is forty yeah. grand. Is, back then, you could. What would you even spend it on back then? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, is that, is that liquor and whores. I was gonna say a lot of women. Is back that what in you said that 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 forty grand was almost one point four? Yeah, there's a one point three. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just looked up and said. Uh, uh, forty grand in nineteen oh one is equivalent in purchasing power yes. to about one point three three seven five mm-hmm. million. That's incredible. So, they yeah, because when we did that Dillinger one, but I think I was like in the that, in the thirties, but yeah. it was like, uh, what do you get, ten thousand? I think it was like two hundred twenty five thousand. That must have been bad. He robbed yeah. Hunt- Huntington yeah. Bank Rob- in Ohio. Or why, something. why was Dillinger <laughs> Carlisle? The- Carlisle, Car- Ohio. Carlisle. Why was Dillinger? Uh, uh, what was he? Uh, Public uh, enemy, enemy number yeah. one. Yeah. Why was he and, number one? Why wasn't Butch and Sundance? Or uh, yeah, different why time period, then. but yeah, uh, no. I Dillinger think- was just on a killing spree. He had guys with him in his group, and they did a lot of damage. Across the country, like Rob in a train to had to be. Yeah, was, that seems a train fun. Had to be fucking that, sweet. That, that seems fun. Like, I mean, that, to do, like to pull jump, that off. Like, fun? like they like jumped over at like when they went through the tunnel. They jumped yeah, over like, onto the top. It wasn't of it. like robbing the banks nowadays. Right. They just, well, that's all fun. they did was ride like, the horses in the town, next yeah. to them, jump on a train, and took it. That had to be took, sweet. Just put it in their backpack. Wagner, Montana. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right, Cools. What do you got? Well, I was going to bring up the Gettysburg one, Jack. Sorry. Out of That's okay. Anything well, that's about Hitler on there? <laughs> no, no. I, know I was looking. That's the first thing I look for on this paper. Yeah, Hitler news. <laughs> you see, uh, my Tunguska blast, yeah. ironically, is the same, uh, same time as the uh, thing down at Wheeling Park. So yeah, I think if, they are related. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't, if you don't remember, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, Matt uh, related the uh, blast in that or the destruction that happened <laughs> trees, at Wheeling yeah. Park with the storm to the Tunguska blast. So. Uh yeah, that's, that uh, happened in 1908. We're June going 30th. For, we're going full circle here. <laughs> hey, yeah. probably one of the greatest late night shows ever. They didn't talk about Johnny Carson. Yes, debuted it debuted in uh, 1955. If you've ever if you ever pull up uh, YouTube, Chris, I'm, I'm, I'm sure glad you, you brought that up. It, it it's he's he's unbelievable. Some I mean, guys, if, if you would it's some laugh of the your shit ass he off. used to wear like the the. <laughs> Act like a magician and put that Karnak, Karnak, Karnak. Mm-hmm. and and some of the people and they would laugh hysterically mm-hmm. and that was that was so much better than the shit that's on the now. three. It's a joke now. Listen, I, mean, I, I wanted to bring that up as my hot pit a couple of weeks ago, but we didn't get to it. Those late. Do you guys watch any? You guys are the only ones that stay up late enough to watch. I, I used to watch like they're Jimmy really Fallon bad, a lot. Man. No, I, I used to watch. I gotta tell you, joke. that Trevor Noah. I don't know if he writes his own jokes or whatever. Terrible. He, he is the most unfunny. You guys ever watch him? Did you? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally like almost embarrassed. It's on Comedy Central. He's like a is he oh, British? I think. He's I like, uh, but he writes. I don't know if he writes the jokes, but whoever writes the jokes for him, 
I, I really, it's pathetic. It's on Comedy Central late. I, I, I watched it one time just to see if it would be funny. It was, I didn't laugh one time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like guys, like even even the late Letterman, Jay Leno, they wrote their own stuff, but they kind of emulated Johnny yeah, Carson. Yeah. Right. He right. was the. Then then the, once those guys were gone, Conan O'Brien was kind of okay. But those, yeah. and I even like Jimmy Fallon, but. Jimmy no, they, Kimmel is Kimmel, pathetic. And, and, and Colbert, Colbert they're, they're, they're garbage. embarrassing. Garbage. I can't believe anyone watches And Mark, you, you talk about Johnny Carson and some of the funniest things, like when he'd have a, a frickin' Don Rickles on. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Winters. Unbelievable. I mean, there was a skit, not a skit, but one I, time Dean Martin come on there and Dean was drunk. It was so funny. And it was, you know, it, there was... It was real. It was nothing, Steve, yeah, it was Steve real. Martin, it was Steve real. Martin came on there mm-hmm. one time. I was laughing so hard, I was crying. Mm-hmm. It was so hard. That Johnny Carson it was... was uh, absolutely was, was the best. Yep. He wasn't even close. There's not even a close second. Well, he had, they had like Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh that amazing. Was that, yep. that was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Really what do you guys good. think of Saturday Night Live now? How Garbage. bad that Garbage. is. Compared to the way it was. Oh, awesome. oh, the way it was back in the day, unbelievable. You like Kevin Hart, Matt? I, I find him kind of funny sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I've but, seen him live. He was pretty good. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's all right. Yeah, he's, he's all right. pretty yeah. good. He, Kevin Hart's pretty I, funny. I'll give I, him a good... Saturday Night Live back in the day when Jim Carrey and, and those guys oh. were on there. Oh, my god. Oh, goodness. even Eddie Murphy. That was Eddie way Murphy. In the early 80s. Fire Eddie. Marshall Bill. Oh. Yep. I like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, Dave yeah, Chappelle's pretty cool. Fire Marshal Bill, that was in Living Color. That was oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a great oh, show, shoot, too. Sorry. I, I love that show. I that really, yet. really like that show What were the dancers called? Uh, the Fly Girls. Fly Girls, yeah. Girls yeah. Well, how did, wait, how did the how'd the song go? In living color. In living color. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, do yeah, what you want to do. Fire Marshal Bill was on the Keenan Ivory Wayans and there's all those yeah. bands. You know brothers. what else is really funny? I just uh, came across by accident on uh, YouTube. Uh, some of those skits from Mad TV. Oh, yeah. That is, it, it, it's really, really funny. <laughs> those people were, I mean, and, and and it wasn't all PC back then. Either. Oh, no, it was so great. You get away some of those with, things you can't do. on the no. Living colors. you're right, Coach. Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, let me show you something. He was, <laughs> hey, uh, incredible that, that, uh, stuff. That, you like Fire Marshal Bill. Yeah, let me show you something. Right, I got something. <laughs> he put his hand in a meat grinder one time. Just yeah. like, green and, uh, uh, ground beef. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Uh, head detective. I like him. Oh, detective the head detective. Head. That was, yeah. that was, was that Damon Wayne. He was yeah. just a head and shoes with a hat on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he always had you, a partner. That's how you said I was born. I was born like the head but detective. But he didn't he have hands that came out of the side of his Because he could hold a gun. Yeah. He had. That would hold he, a gun. He would break a big. <laughs> he'd break a big uh, crime wave. Yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah, no show, show will ever be as good as MXC though. Oh, well, that's yeah. pretty good. That, that, that's that's probably one of Chris's yeah. all time favorites. Yeah, really, really good. People show. don't even know that one. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm MXC. sure you could look you those could, videos. There's up. no oh. way you could air that today. No way you would be able to air that. I mean, today. just some of the Sadly jobs. So. Some, some of the jobs. Some of the jobs. The guy amazing. No Whoever we said that. Wouldn't it be great to be a writer for that show? Oh my god! How fun would those meetings be to be able to sit there and write for that? The one dude. The one guy. The one guy was a clown shoe repairman. You could go on and on. Where is it? Kenny Blankenship and Vic Romano. Gee, Gee Ladouche. Gee, Gee the sideline Gidget. Yeah, Gidget. Gidget. Gidget Chris, Gidget. you loved that show. Yeah, it was fun. Well, we Wait. watched it up here all the oh, time. I cry yeah. after, well, after, uh, after football. Between that and Jerky Boys, <laughs> yes. I mean, we would just cry. Just I listened laughing. to some of them the other day, the Jerky, jerky Boys. boys so they funny. were unbelievable. Hey, Jared, do you see uh, Willie Stardge was on here hitting his 400th home run on June 29th, 1977? Yeah, 9-1 win over the Cardinals. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. How many, how many guys back in the day do you think emulated his warm-up swing? Every kid that ever played Amazing. on Sandlot. Did. I mean, I, the, the what war. was his? Sw- what did he do? What? Oh, he'd do that. It's like a windmill, windmill thing. thing. Yeah, that yeah. windmill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he'd do that. You ever and seen I don't that know cool? why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't know that's who that was. But, yeah. Oh, it's well, well, he, would, he would like. Wouldn't he like kind of like cock it up? Like he would like. He'd like really. He, he maybe put it forward and then yeah. go. And then put it forward. He would. He Willie Stargell was good. Oh, anyway, oh that's good anything one. else, Chris? Anything well, strike I, I your fancy this week? Well, this isn't funny, but it just July second. 1937, Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan disappear over the Pacific Ocean. But <laughs> both were declared dead within two years. Well, I'll tell I you mean, why that happened. Ma- maybe Fred, I'm ignorant because I don't know. Fred Noonan, they declared but, him dead like immediately. No, 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 like no. he couldn't have survived. But they, uh, for some reason, I think maybe it was just because she was a lady. They wanted to try to give hope that maybe Amelia Earhart had survived. So they kind of like drug this out looking for her for years. There's people that still say she survived. If you're well, a conspiracy then, well, then theorist, other like people you. say, uh, yeah, I Bermuda Triangle. Right there, you go. Well, yeah. thanks so, for letting me. I so, didn't but, know that. But anyway, within know. the late in the second year, they finally kind of gave up the search for her, and they declared her dead as well. Most people, but people still say she's. Where do you think she is? 
Probably in Antigua. You guys are sorry. <laughs> she might have been. No, I was she been your boat captain. Could she <laughs> made it to Antigua from the Pacific Ocean? Oh, yeah, maybe she floated. She could have yeah, floated, floated through the Panama Canal. Frank, yeah. Frank picked her up. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. yeah. Well, he didn't talk. And to he her. asked her, how, "Yeah, how much?" That's why she he didn't know who she was because he didn't ask. No he questions didn't. asked. Frank. Yeah. I say uh, one thing I wanted to mention: July third, nineteen thirty-seven, Delmar Thoroughbred and Turf Club opens up with. Nick's boy Bing Crosby yeah. as the official track president. So wow. Delmar Horse Tracks getting ready to start here in a couple of weeks, and it's uh it's really really neat place to visit and see in San Diego. And uh, Bing was the head haunter out there. So being a horse guy, I really really like turns that. Uh, and they have they call it the Bing Crosby meet here late in the late summer. So yeah, July third is turning eighty five years old. Yeah, wow. Who? The the uh, racetrack. Right? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I thought you, you thought made Bing. Crosby. No, he's been <laughs> gone. No, no. Thank we you. have any big birthdays this week? Oh, uh, I tell you, Mel Brooks, mm. one of the one of my all time favorite movies, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> I mean, it Incredible. is just unbelievable. Again, we couldn't even Laughter put on TV now. From beginning, work, 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 <laughs> and he's he's always the one who's looking at that girl's boobs. Amazing. Work, 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 and he had a. They said uh, they he was the mayor. Was he the mayor? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I forget what town it was, and they made him come. They had it, some that documents that he had to stamp, and he just, work, work, work. Some work, of the work, things work, they say in that movie are <laughs> and, 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 and it was the, the woman's boob. You guys ever it. seen that before? <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, seen oh my God, battle. you got to watch You can watch awesome. a lot of those. You guys ever seen Spaceballs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty good. History of the World? Yeah. 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 Spaceballs? It hit, it, yeah, yeah, you might have. The first time I ever watched it was here. It's a good one. History of the World. Pizza the Hut. Yeah. Mel Brooks and Blazing Saddles. Hey, speaking of that, Matt, J.J. Abrams' birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, June 27th. Yep. He made director's doll. Dabbled right? in some Star Wars. Seven and Wars. nine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Seven and nine. And then Dick had, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Ryan, jo- Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Johnson. Johnson. Ryan they Johnson. Call, they call him Ruin Johnson. Ruin. Yeah, Ryan. L- listen, yeah. Dan Aykroyd, too. Oh, he was, he was, he was really Blues good. Brothers. Blues that, Brothers. That, that's an he's unbelievable. He's still alive. Yeah. yeah that's Aykroyd's an unbelievable Hey, he's movie. got uh, Crystal Skull Vodka. Yeah. Yeah, he's got vodka. Crystal Skull it mm. comes in a skull thing he said he's got some big thing he, about how they found like all these King skulls Kong and a crystal skull. he found all these crystal skulls all over like like mesopotamia and like down in yeah. the, mm. the that area like down south like in mexico and he says it's something about how, the way that the bottle is shaped is exactly like these skulls and it makes the vodka like mm. you like dan Aykroyd? i like more yeah oh i think yeah. I mean, ghostbusters fine. you guys Ghost, ever yeah. see those Ghost, movies ghostbusters, Original ghostbusters. Uncle Buck. Yeah. Uncle Buck and uh, Coneheads. Coneheads. The Great Outdoors. Great He's Outdoors. Incredible in that movie. He's oh, great. Not Uncle Buck. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, but with John outdoors. Candy though. Yeah. That Great Outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. They, that Aykroyd. <laughs> really good. Oh, he's on Christmas with the Cranks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's the he's the guy he's, that organized. He sneaks everything. in a lot of movies. He's really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was uh, this week in history, or this week. Yeah, this week in history, and I don't know why I just forgot the name of the thing that we've been doing for 15 weeks now. But <laughs> let's hit. Hot pit cold mug. Cools, you look eager. Huh. Oh, I mean, I do actually have a hot pit this week, and it's going to be a quick one because I know you guys don't like the NBA. But I'm tired of sports media in the NBA. <laughs> Me too. Kyle Yovan, I'm so tired of him. Oh, uh, How about that saga thing? yesterday? They, oh, it's, they, it drives me crazy. They, they said everywhere he goes, he ruins the team. It's, it's incredible. I'm tired of hearing his BS. I'm tired of – He ruins the team. Breaking news. This team's interested in this guy. Oh, that pissed me if, off. If they're not going to get him, oh. it's not breaking news. If right. That's not bre- – Right. Of course they're interested in one of the top <laughs> ten players in the NBA. Who isn't? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm tired of sports media. I, it's, I can't, oh, it's horrible. Well, and oh, you know it's, now – the worst. Did you see now that uh, Kendrick Perkins is feuding with – Draymond Green. Yeah, I, I mean, mean the old old just, media of us, new media. Right. It's, I mean, it, I'm Matt, you said it. Long, you got away. you and Mark said a long time ago about social media and just how I mean, yeah, oh, guys just get on there and fight each other really and they just ruin the world. Oh, it's terrible. Can we just play sports? Yes. Right. Yep. No, that's over. Cools. I mean, just playing sports. You don't want to be with the team or you don't. Right, if you don't, go somewhere. Well, quest a trade. With I don't port- care. With the portal, NIL, the NBA going to it, sports is ruined. But we'll I'm still, a big fan of the NIL. We'll still watch it. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> we'll still watch it. We'll still bet it. Yeah, we'll still drink. Yeah, it's it. not enough we'll to make me quit fun. watching. But yep. I am. Just it's, get, it's getting annoying. Piss you off. Yeah, gets it irritated yeah. after a while. Well, that's my hot pit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me vent, guys. Yes, no. Anybody got any Agreed. Hot, hot Jared pit? does. Uh, I don't really. I don't have a hot pit. I got a cool mug, which is actually on this, uh, the paper. Uh, something that I'm. I don't know. You guys probably won't give a shit about. But was this the uh, esports? Yeah, esports company. Ask you uh, Phase Clan going public, worth over one billion dollars, which I just. But, it just shows how 
incredible what does esports are growing what does growing. going public mean these yeah, are going to be a publicly can, traded yeah. so now you on can, the stock uh, market they'll be on the I, nasdaq so i'll definitely uh and I'll, be, I'll be a part of i'm sure. absolutely investing yeah. Yeah. we're gonna yeah. go public when are we going public yeah, yeah we're gonna just, be on the s p 500 yeah i just think that is just it's amazing champ will ring the bell at the stock exchange <laughs> Wouldn't that be I mean, something to see? It is kind of nuts, Jared, to think about it because I mean, they started out as just a, started out a as group of four, kids like us five in the guys house playing, playing video games, playing Call of Duty, and started out uh, with a billion dollars. Who's yeah. that? Phase, uh, phase, phase clan. clan, which is now yeah, it's like Barstool Sports. It's just, yeah. just fi- like it's five, so five guys who's like making videos on Call of Duty, and now it's, it's incredible. Billion dollars good for them. Good yes, for them. No, they're, awesome. and they're they're all good dudes. Well, from the most part, good but, for them. Yeah, not people sponging off of the. Of the government. Yeah, so go All play right. video games. There you go. All right, who else? Who else is loaded up? Dad, you got one? A hot pit? Anything. Well, I do have a hot pit, but I, I it's like, I, I, like when I drive through a neighborhood <laughs> and I drive through and probably wheeling back to wheeling, <laughs> it really irritates me that people don't keep up their, their property, that, oh. that, that, that you drive through a neighborhood, even... Yeah. My wife said the other day, "Look at all these shit houses we were yeah. coming, and and not even and 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 I, we said, you don't need a lot of money to cut your grass, to <laughs> keep your hedges trimmed, to keep the weeds down. You don't have to have a pristine lawn. You don't have to have, uh, you know, everything the perfect trim there. But at least do something to make your property look good. Well, well, at least look no- like you live there. Yes, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Thank you. Put a yep. little Thank effort you. in. <laughs> and and and." and Coach Nardoni always said curb appeal. Number one thing that you can have uh, as a homeowner is curb appeal. And again, don't have to be perfect, but at least you could do something to mm-hmm. make it look decent. Uh, if you drive through the city, Matt, and I yeah. agree with you on this part of it, <laughs> uh, the bigger percent of people, and it's getting worse and worse, yeah. do not take care of the outside of their home. And yeah. it's, and well, I can, so. Those- uh, so can you can imagine what it looks like inside. Those, those pictures you sent to my mom as she showed me of yeah, we your, grew your up old with, house. That, we that, grew makes, up on, that actually makes me like have tears in my eyes. Yeah, man. we yeah. grew up on Hesse. It Avenue. really, really it's made me sad. And, and, I, and I, I won't go down there because it makes me sad. I kept that thing. I kept that thing. The oh, it was immaculate. Were, hedges were You guys perfect. probably don't remember that at well, all. You were remember, really, really young. I remember what it used to look like when I was really little, and now I didn't even recognize oh, no, it when I was Your dad had there. that place looking the best in the whole yeah, ever. But every every one of Grandma's neighbors, took, for the most part, took pride in their property. Yeah, everybody. It was a really nice neighborhood. It was, now it's it was disgusting nice. down there. It, 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 you are, I, as a matter of fact, that's what set this off. I'm glad you brought that up, Matt, because that's what set that off. Yeah. I drove through. Just slow, one day, I just was in the mood to go around and look at people's properties and went up. I mean, a caddy corner. I remember Fred Hempelman. Fred <laughs> Hempelman. We would right. play kickball on a corner or t-ball or whatever on a corner, and uh, all the houses. George Rail lived there. Miss Foresight, Hempel. That house, the 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 roof on the porch is falling in. Mm-hmm. Across the street is is the weeds and it. My my old house. There's a tree in the back. I can't That's even cool. believe it. Get the door up. There's ivy blocking a window That's on the cool. backside. The, it's just the garage. Oh. The garage. Remember we is, painted the garage? Oh you know? yeah, we had a whole. Family. How many years ago? I wonder what that. Oh been. lord. Oh my. Twenty five, thirty. My brother was there. Yeah, that thirty day. years and, ago. Bro? Yeah, maybe thirty years ago. But we all took pride in keeping the neighborhood. I just nice. don't understand what like, you pay this so much money to live at these places. Why wouldn't mm-hmm. you want to make it look nice? People just, just again, you well, don't have, you don't have, you yeah, don't have to have a lot of money. It is to, to keep your grass cut and to keep your hedges trimmed. Keep and the, the ivy weeds. down. For well, I'm sure they're the, they're busy your, sitting on their couch uh, with the Doritos. I was going to say they must their because up. what do they do? Just look at it and think, well, well I, I, it's, I'll, I'll get I don't it. Feel, I'll, yeah. I'll get to it this weekend after right. you know. And then then they get to a certain point. It gets to a certain point where they say it's too much for me to do, and I don't have money. I'll hire. I'll hire somebody. But then they don't have the money to do that, so then they just let it go. That's it's 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 criminal if you ask me. I yeah, it's sick. It is. It's no. It's no good for anybody in the neighborhood. No good for anybody <laughs> anywhere. That worked yeah. out well, Job. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, happened? We, we, I don't know. Evie, Evie's trying to get Evie. Evie's, and Evie's been barking all day. Uh, oh, she's in a hostile mood. Then. Yeah, well, she's been right. pissed she, off. She probably has a hot pit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she, she's probably that got a hot, hot pit because she rolled. So anyway, shit that's today. my hot pit. Yep. And, uh, people clean up, cut yeah. your grass. Yeah, please. Anything else? Are you uh, anything else, Chris? What? Well, I don't know what you can talk about. Oh, oh, I can go in my hot pit, but it's yeah, gonna go be ahead. it'll be controversial. No, mm. no, go for it. How uh, is it? All right. 
Oh, well, Chris wants to. I'll, I'll start and then Chris can elaborate. <laughs> oh, on you his. guys have. Well, no, no we not really. It. I, I don't know enough. Not really, but this actually, it. I did want to. I did want to say this because I, I, because especially because we have my two twin cousins here, and this kind of like hits close to home to me. So I'm gonna just tell you this little thing. So I know everybody's in up in arms about the uh, Supreme Court thing, the Roe v. Wade or mm-hmm. whatever. So mm-hmm. wherever you come down on that, I'm not gonna sit here and lecture you one way or another. But uh, I will say this: I, I found this to be interesting. So. The, I looked this up because I was wondering if twin babies are with the mother and if one of them was delivered first. Jared, you were first? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you were <laughs> delivered first. I was wondering what the longest time in between two <laughs> brother or sisters were ever born, okay? So what made me start thinking about this was like late-term abortions and things like that, which I kind of find to be terrible. But anyway, I'm not going to get sidetracked on that. So I looked it up. 87 days. <laughs> Jesus. So two what? little two little girls. One little girl was born, and her sister wasn't born until eighty seven days after months. her. Exactly. So my thing is, technically, the girl who came out, she's been alive for eighty seven days. Her sister could have been aborted in the womb. Now after she's living outside, and that's the part that frustrates me about it is they'll say, well, you know, the, they're not people till they come out, or they're, they're not living things till they come out. But they, they can live outside the womb. Once they develop organs and, and mm-hmm. a brain and heart and lungs, they're living. And it just it just makes me think, like, we're, we're not thinking about this the right way from a scientific point of view. So technically, one of you could have been aborted and the other one had to live. Mm-hmm. So it, it's just, I, I don't know, I thought that was a crazy thing. And also found it uh, interesting that if you are a drunk driver... And you hit somebody, a, a mother who's carrying a child. And say I hit somebody on the way home tonight and I, I kill the mom and the baby. I'm I'm charged with two counts of murder. Mm-hmm. But when it comes but that, that woman could be driving to the abortion clinic and have the, the thing aborted out of her right there and she, and nothing happens. So I, I, to me, that's just messed up. That's whichever way you fall. You, you you can't say it's a person when, when when it's a drunk driver killing it, but then that goes to a clinic and it, and it gets killed just because the mother doesn't want it anymore. I don't know. To me, it feels like a major double standard. So, Chris, what oh, do you no, think? Oh, I, I, no. And, and I don't uh, want to get into my, my whole feelings about right. it because I think if you get no. into the science of it, I think you're, you really need to pay attention. And people should stop saying, oh, because the Republicans like it and, and I don't like it. And you don't, you need to read up on the stuff and realize what actually is going on there. I'm not saying that every instance of an abortion is the, is the end of the world, but I, I find that the, when the, when the things developed inside of a person and they're just killing it just because they don't want it. If you haven't figured out by, by the 26th week that you don't want this baby, well, what are, what are you exactly thinking about in your life? Like you, that's kind of an important decision to have, to make. Well, and, and you shouldn't make it a lot earlier before the thing develops into a person. Exactly, and and then yeah. you know, and they, but they don't want to be held accountable or just be responsible for right. what they've done. Well, yeah. the opposite just Gives screwing them the easy around. Way out, right? I, so the easiest way is well, just and, abort I, and the I'm baby not a and woman. And I can't pretend to know what it's like if I was attacked or anything. Right. Like, I, I'm not trying to make that decision for anybody, but I just don't like how people. And I also found it interesting that the same sex people were against it. And I didn't understand why that was because none of them really have right, children. Right. So I didn't understand why they were so outraged by it. Well, that's what. And, and I wish someone, and Joe always says, email the show. If you have strong feelings about this, email him at the show. Mm-hmm. We'll have you on as a guest. I want to have a debate with someone on the other side of it and actually just ask them the questions. Like, when do you think a life is and blah, blah. I'm, I'm interested to find out from someone. I've never been able to have a rational discussion with a human being about it who didn't get mad at me and just storm off well, and say you're wrong here here's here's the difference you're you're like uh, uh, you're very educated on a lot of stuff mm-hmm. and you're very you look you you, you research your stuff you look stuff up um if i would be interested too to see you be able to have a conversation with somebody yeah. else that is like you who can have a conversation but a majority of people i think yeah. that that ha- that are e- on either side of the fence right are so emotional about this stuff, right. which is maybe rightfully so in some cases, but I think that, uh, you know, uh, debate is a hard thing now. And it, I and think... It applies some logic to it. Like, I, I don't want everybody to agree with me. I always say to Chris, I want to be able to debate people, but in the world today, people don't want to debate. They just want to get mad at you, say they hate you, and, and blah, blah, blah. I don't, I'm don't. i not doing that. I'm not saying it. If you're on the other side of this, I would listen to your opinion. I, I want to hear, but I'd like to know why, and I'd love to just discuss it. I think it's an interesting discussion and people like you said job they don't want to discuss they just Mm-mm. want to hate 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 yeah hey, no, yeah and then and then if they if they when they don't get the decision that they 
that they want, then it's let's take to the streets and let, let's, yeah. you know, and I, I saw so many different interviews with, and these people with this outrage, I don't want to call it fake outrage, but how many people is, is this going to affect? I mean, these people were crying and uh, my, yeah. my body, my choice, and just, just so outraged. And like you were well, saying before about, uh, you know, not, not, not being responsible with their bodies as far as just having sex and getting pregnant. And then I just thought the outrage was just, well, just ridiculous. Chris, I also thought my body, my choice is very ironic. Uh, I was told that I was like a murderer for not getting a COVID vaccine. I was the worst person on the planet for not doing that. Oh yeah. So I, but it was my body, my choice then, but now it's a, it's a double standard. Well, Matt, Back then I didn't have a choice. No, the government will tell you what to put in your body, but now it's no, it's my body, my choice. So which is it? That's another well, thing so I would like to ask those pe liberal people. And that's fine if you're a liberal, whatever, and you listen to the show. I just want to talk about it in a rational manner and find out where you come down on it in your thinking, because I just have a hard time getting we, to where you're at. We talked about this on Sunday when it said a lot of the vast majority of these freaks that are going nuts and just screaming and uh, my body, my choice. Those yeah. activists um, says that, they, but they're fine when they were saying you have to take a right. vaccine and, they, and an experimental vaccine yeah, or, or lose your job, your livelihood, yeah. your ability to put fucking food on the table. Exactly. It, it's just, it's ridiculous. And one other thing, and I, I, I saw this too on, twitter i think and this makes so much sense if i mean if you're pro-life but saying my body my choice is like saying my house my rules it still doesn't give you the right to kill the child inside of it yeah you're fucking so right i mean I don't, but i don't know i just it was it was ridiculous but hey it, real quick my hot pit goes along with that because you know how some <laughs> of these uh, these really self-important uh, celebrities you know yeah, yeah. when when they speak out about things you know back when trump got won the election if he wins right. you know well uh, we had Cher was going to leave the country oh yeah madonna did, did any of them actually leave barbara streisand i think snoop everybody well now a bit big news from the world of uh music ooh, ooh. um i brace yourself ooh. Billy Joe Armstrong, oh, oh shit. lead singer of Green Day. We can't live without him. I guess he was at a concert recently, and uh, he said, fuck America. He was pissed about this decision and said, fuck America, and he's going to renounce his U.S. citizenship. Uh, oh, my goodness. So he, he's just, and so hopefully shame. he can take him, his band, and his fucking shitty music and leave. <laughs> but I, he's not going to, obviously. Oh, no. but, Too but, much money in this country like, for him. Who cares about Billy Joe yeah, Armstrong? Exactly. Why does he think anyone That's, would care? Like, Groundbreaking. Like, yeah. Right. Like, boy, Billy, please stay. We, yeah. we, we'll miss your Billy, music. Billy, please, Billy, don't like, know. But these these celebrities that are just, yeah. I don't know. It, it's it's it, it get, I get so tired of all this bullshit. But yeah, Matt, none of those people ever left the country. No. Nope. No. 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 Hey, well, I, got a, I got a quick cold mug. It's like, take like 20 seconds. Are you, are you all right with that? Yeah. All right. Just to make it a little bit brighter. Well, I'm so going to brighten it up here in a second. Yeah, All right. It. Well, I, I thought this was funny because it kind of reminded me of Jarrett's boy, Gary the Rat. So the, the Conservancy of Southwest Florida used a scout snake named Dion to sniff out the largest female python ever discovered. This, Dion. Dion. Wait, I think I just saw that. Yeah, Dion, he, so they, what they do is they put this tracker on this other python and, and he goes into these nests and he, and he I guess he's like either sexually attracted to the females, however it works, but Dion hunted down this Dion, giant python yeah. in Florida. She was 215 pounds and 18 feet long. Oh. For me, python, she had 122 eggs inside wow. of her that Dion found. Listen, wow. So if Dion it, the snake and Gary the rat. Dion the mm. snake. I tell you what, if Aunt Sue would have heard that, she yeah. would just flip it. It, it creeped me out reading it. Oh, God. Good job. Happy right. times. Well, I got I got something for you guys because last week you didn't believe me on the the, the chimpanzee oh, who yeah, was the construction uh, worker. Was, uh, <laughs> the construction worker. So I got man. something for you oh, wait, right you now. Got, you got an update on him? No, 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 no. This oh, is, a, he, this he, is, this he, is just the something else. Yeah. This is my cold mug. They bought him the pool So they, basically in, in, in the late 1960s, there was a businessman that he, he bought a horse and he wanted to get some money out of it. So, um, you know, all he needed was a great jockey to win these races Ooh. so uh the problem was that this guy he was a mafia guy and it, he had a reputation in the area where uh nobody no jockey was gonna work with him he was a mafia guy he was like uh, he would he was uh like holding back prize money money from the jockeys that he hired uh you know everybody was afraid of them afraid of him if they would lose they he would punish them or something <laughs> like that so uh, they go to this race. It's a big race. I'm not sure which race it was, but it was a big race. And uh, all of a sudden, his horse comes out on the – flying out of the gate, and he's got a little small jockey on his back. 
and uh, the he was covered in in clothes, <laughs> head to toe, mm. covered in clothes, head to toe, and and they the people there said the horse was mind so mind. the horse story. the horse story. was so fast you could barely see it. It was that fast. <laughs> it said it was all blurry. It was just all blurry. It was just it would go. It was it won the race. So the horse won, and it, immediately the guy wants to the the get his money. All he wants to do is go get his money. But uh, the whole scam. It was revealed that he used a monkey as the jockey. I've heard this story. So apparently the monkey was attacking one of the women that had the fruit <laughs> on her head <laughs> because it believed that it was real fruit, and that gave away the monkey it, uh, being the jockey. Yeah. Cause she, why, he, why was the horse running so fast? Because he was light. He was lighter than a man. Oh, and he was oh. a good – he actually was a good oh, – yeah. I think he, really he went on – steered him he, No, I think he went on to race. Why, why are you on – So the monkey why, was what, a regular what, jockey on the – Is that a true horse. story? Or, yes, I, I, I've heard, heard the monkey way. story. No, I don't know if he continued to ride, but like, I How did he sneak the monkey on her? Nobody saw him. I mean – Monkey's a carpenter. He had a monkey carpenter and a monkey jockey. I've heard this monkey jockey story before. I think He apparently went on to, like, race and other races. Races and he won, but the, then the people who were in charge of horse racing banned monkeys from riding on the backs of. Uh, oh, horse. so they knew it was a monkey. Well, they figured out because he, he was trying he to eat the fruit. That lady's hat. He was yeah. trying to eat the fruit you off mean the, after the race. After, after the race, after his but first they, nobody race. saw it. But when he was <laughs> t- got, when he got on a horse, t- no, <laughs> no, he had clothes on. <laughs> no, he was he was oh, dressed in, in. What did he have jock- on his face? He had, he had a helmet on. He had and, his, his goggles and a helmet. So they didn't know until he started eating the fruit off a lady's head. Right? Yeah. They just thought he had a beard. No. Why would that? Hey, no. what about the monkey that went into space? He's real. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, what was his uh, name? Not well, I would believe that more than a jockey. Uh, well, why would you? Well, no, I, I think that jockey. I know he did. I don't know if he went on to race more. Yes, he did. He, yes, he I did. I know he did race yes, one. He He's a winning as jockey. <laughs> what, what, what did I mean, he do last week? He, he said, was a construction worker. He was, he was working at the construction site. <laughs> like, nobody you noticed. You better quit watching. No, they knew. I can't believe that. Like that. He was punching a time clock. Like, oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> I mean, no. monkeys are smart. They ain't Jesus. He, Matt, what, <laughs> how, was, what's the weight of a normal jockey? Well, I mean, honestly, 100, 100 they, they yeah. carry they, the horses carry between one fifteen and one thirty five in poundage, depending on the race and the handicap. The jockeys are roughly around a hundred, one hundred five, just so, shy of that. So, so, so they, monkey, I bet you a just, chimp is like fifty pounds. Yeah, but they probably. Jockeys are in the low hundreds. And right? I bet what what would stop a monkey? You, they eat, now they do the uh, they put monkeys on greyhounds. They do that. That's a thing. I don't think they do that monkeys now. They, I think they, they put used monkeys to. on greyhounds. They, wow. they used li- to. No, is he coming up with they this put shot? they put capuchin monkeys, which are little monkeys, like as, oh, okay, as big yeah. as uh, yeah, like Andre. the one in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes, monkey, and they put them on a greyhound and they send them around the track. Wow. <laughs> Does Rodney have any monkeys I, I, over? I've, I've never seen any of this yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm so that's. Funny. If you look it up, he look won up. a race. He won multiple races. I wonder what his name was? What was the yeah. name of the jockey? Go well, we don't know. Well, I gotta find out. Yeah, we don't know. Listen, one day, one day, this numb nuts is gonna come home with a monkey in his fucking truck. <laughs> yeah, <gonna> yeah. <laughs> and we'll surprise, think, surprise. I tell you what, though, Mark, the we way you are, you, that fucking monkey might be able to help you. Exactly. With your work. Yeah, he might, he'd be laying, he'll be down. laying stone down, down here. Yeah. One day you'd yeah. come home, my fucking job sleep. That monkey's out there busting his ass. <laughs> 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 the monkey would do everything. Yeah. I'm glad for he could go walk Evie. Exactly. Right. You could sleep in for exactly. So look it up. Let's do it. Uh, maybe more monkey news next <laughs> week. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a story about a lost. Anyways, movie. that was a cold mug for yeah. me. The monkey, the jockey. Great stuff. Thank you for joining us here in the Pine Room, episode 15. Five more till 20. Wow. wow. Yep. Uh, We're getting old. 15 wow. weeks. Uh, we got some big stuff coming. The shop should be open in a couple days. You can get stuff online. Uh, aprons, bath mats, uh, uh, shower curtains, curtains, blankets, pillows, socks, shoes, monkey jockey, everything, right. monkey, monkey jockey outfits. outfits. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, monkey outfits, anything, rats. anything. Yeah, rats, rat jackets. Rats. Anything you want, uh it'll be out. Uh you can buy stuff, it'll be cool. Uh Evie saying goodbye. We'll see you here next week uh in the Pine Room. Uh Good night. thanks for joining. Later. Bye. Well, it's that time. The coolers are empty, the food's all gone, and the games are over. But that's all right. There's always next week. 
follow us on social media to keep up to date with future shows and send any questions, comments, or topics you'd like us to discuss to contact at thepineroompodcast.com. Until then, we'll see you here next time in The Pine Room.